What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 134 of the Games and Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here with Vin Steele. Hello. And Steve. Hello. And we've made it to another week. Consistency is... You know, we don't, I, don't, I feel like we don't even need to mention it anymore. We're, we're on such a roll. Here we are. We, this is the new normal. Yeah, that's it. We just like we just sent a text on the Friday night. Are we recording tomorrow? We're like, yeah. Let's, yeah. Why would we not be recording tomorrow? Because exactly. it's the routine. <laughs> it's the routine. There's nothing else it to is do the, as well. Yeah. Well, there is that. Yeah, there is absolutely <laughs> nothing else to do. The routine yeah. might change slightly when lockdown lifts so we'll have to sort of maybe jig things around but um we will adhere to get you a weekly podcast out yes um but for now just enjoy it just embrace your weekly dose of games and graps injected into your veins like honestly i can't think of anything other than heroin yeah Mm. yeah right yeah yeah it's like yeah it's exactly the same effect yeah if that's what you enjoy doing um you know don't do that but listen to this instead it's the same yeah it's a healthy alternative yeah. to heroin yes. to yep. podcast. <laughs> i mean def- <laughs> that's the tagline, that's the tagline. It, to podcast. It, healthy it equally is addictive <laughs> with no side effects <laughs> yeah exactly. there you go i think like maybe doctors are going to start like prescribing it like when you go to like the methadone clinic or wherever you go for because you're a heroin user i actually don't know um just they're gonna be like okay so uh, we're gonna give you a free pair of headphones mm-hmm. and this device and you're gonna listen to these three guys make you know dick and shit jokes and <laughs> yeah it's gonna cure you you're not gonna have to do that anymore mm. yeah good plan i like it maybe you should contact yeah. the person just like hey that's a really cool idea yeah definitely yeah we should definitely contact uh maybe yeah contact the nhs People will be clapping for us and all sorts of shit. It's going to be great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Clap for games and craps. <laughs> <laughs> the way this podcast goes, it'd be more like get the clap for games and craps. <laughs> boo, boo, boo for games and craps. Yeah. <laughs> we're, all just sat, we're all just sat in our house at eight o'clock on a Thursday. And you can just hear the boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that time of the week again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because of you, my son keeps asking if I want to attempt a high score. You piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> my husband keeps That's... asking for morning brown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> no, he's not tossing off any men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, thank you for making this um, the last episode of this show the most listened to it's been in a, a long time it's great to yeah. see that our consistency is paying off and we really hope you are enjoying the show um everything is up listens views on youtube subs on youtube uh, like insights on our social media all that sort of stuff is is up and uh, that's all because of you we can't uh, we can't thank you enough we yeah. that's why we promise to keep delivering you uh the weekly show you know full of the usual stuff like the nonsense that you just heard um, and yeah. all of our usual stuff as well. But um, we'll start the podcast as we always do. And we'll begin with yourself. Finn, what are you playing at the minute? Hello. Uh, I've been playing more uh, Mario, Paper Mario, which is still good. I've noticed. Yeah, really good. Try to get through it now. I'm close to the end, I think. Um, to try to get it done this week mm-hmm. and uh, get it off my backlog, which is good. Look forward to seeing the end of that. How, um, long, how long is it, do you think? It's quite a long game. It is perhaps a little too long. I get to okay. the point where I'm like, okay, it can it can end anytime it wants now. Um, okay. It's not to say it's still it's not still fun because I am enjoying it still. So it's all good. Fair and then also I've been playing a bit more or in the Bull of the Wisps. which is still amazing. So yeah, those are my two main things right now. Get through those and I can move on to other things like Ratchet and Clank and stuff. And stuff. And stuff. Maybe control. You gonna go back for control again? I think so. It was the second playthrough, especially now it's got like super shiny ray tracing and all that good stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's such a great game. I mean, I've um, I've been I've been playing it. Um, this week I, I put it back on um, just to like to have a mess around with the like new assisted modes that are there. Oh yeah, it and is, it's yeah. it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, <laughs> you can yeah, there's like an immortal mode, so you still lose energy, but you don't die. 
<laughs> so like losing energy is like ultimately pointless. And yeah. you can like turn on different stuff like kill enemies in one hit and shit. And you <laughs> honestly that platinum now is just so easy. It's just a case of playing through it. I I have turned the assisted modes off because I enjoyed the challenge of the game and I didn't think it was overly difficult anyway the first time I played through it. So uh, but they're there if you if you <laughs> if you do want literally no challenge and almost no enjoyment of the game, then you can turn all the assisted modes on and breeze through it. Yeah, there's modes like that on Last of Us 2 as well. In my second player, so I just turn them all on, flame and ammo and stuff. It's like, yeah. saying, oh, I've got to be quiet. Through, sneak through here. I was like pulling out an explosive arrow. So, oh, do we know? <laughs> <laughs> was, that to go th- was that to go for the platinum? Uh, yeah, it's like, again, like the rest of the collectibles and stuff like that. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's fun times. Great and times. yeah, that's about it, really. How about, uh, how about you, Steve? I dived into uh, Taxi Chaos this week. Finally got around mm. to playing it. Nice. Uh, what do you yeah, think? Full of no- full of nostalgia. Yeah, really, really cool. Uh, I played Crazy Taxi when I got my Xbox. Actually, as a bit of a, a throwback. Uh, not aged well the original. So this is quite you know it was quite refreshing to play this one. Yeah, it is a bit more a little bit more up to date. Um, the the what's the word I'm looking for? The conversations with the customers. Is very repetitive, though, isn't it? Um, Just a touch, uh, yeah, yeah. I, you know, if I have I, to hear, I don't want to hear people going to a retirement home or, you know, any of that shit. It it just happens a lot. Yeah, well, I I, I was going to um, if if you'd have asked me, sort of, you know, how Steve, how are you? I was going to go, you know, I was going to say, uh, oh, you know, one day closer to retirement, and then seeing that <laughs> my old rest of my days in an old folks' home. So yeah, it uh, I ended up having to I, I turned the I turned the volume right down on the. Uh, on the conversation stuff, so I didn't have to listen to it. It's fine. It's fun. You can switch your brain off, play it for an hour, and um, yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, I, I don't think you can team. really exactly. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think you can ask for much more of the package on offer. You know, you can no, put it on, no, have a few rounds, fine. even just go for a bit of free roam, just drive around the city, yeah. picking different people up, and you know, it's fun. It, it serves its purpose. You know, I said think I said this last week, but you know, you were never going to get some sort of you know, deep story mode from it, you know, and it, you know, that kind of game doesn't need no. it. It's arcadey no. fun and, you know, it doesn't need to be any more than that. There are little bits in it that additional bits that you, you can do. So when like you pick, mm. I picked the mascot up the other day. And so that now means that I've got to go and collect some protein bars or something. You know, yeah, so that, of course. That's something, that's something different. Uh, I think there's a few of those kind of little stories or there quests is, yeah. that you can do. So that keeps it a little bit more interesting. I'll, I'll drop onto it, you know, every now and then if I've got a spare hour or so. It's just an easy, yeah. easy playthrough, isn't it? Um, other than that, uh, Sea of Thieves with the King of the Melts, <laughs> Denzel Hook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah so, he loves his mention so, on the podcast. He really yeah, does he love does, it. Doesn't he? he does. <laughs> but the thing is, right, if we asked the Shuck Melt to come on, he wouldn't do. I mean, we'd need subtitles for a start, and I don't think we've got the technology for that. But um, plus, he'd uh, he'd get confused with the time as well, wouldn't he? He would do. He'd definitely get confused with the time. I mean, Finn, if I was to ask you, you know, what the ET stands for in, um, you know, like if you're watching something in America, you know what it stands for, right? Extraterrestrial, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like Eastern time, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Not yes. European time. Which is yeah. what Denzel thought it was. Ah, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it was like his state of play on at five o'clock. We were like, no, no, it's like ten o'clock tonight. And he's like, yeah, but ET European time. But what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> There's loads of different times. Yeah, exactly. This is what I tried to <laughs> tried to explain to him. I says, well, how does that work when five o'clock in the UK would be six o'clock in Spain? So how does that work? He's like, but we're in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Oh, to... God. <laughs> shit for brains. Nope. Honestly. Yeah, absolute <laughs> shit for brains. Awful. There you go, Darren. Yeah, so we... Turn off now. <laughs> yeah, we played Sea of Thieves, and uh, yeah, we I think we're becoming like good. really good at it now. Yes. Yeah, it was, um, it was a good... Good couple of hours on it, weren't it? And we got absolutely yeah. pasted by these uh, professionals in the end. They yeah. sunk our boat. Actual just, pirates, I think. Actual proper, yeah. But they must have been. We just, they just, yeah. 
two two shots, both the masks went bang, bang, bang. The hull was just yeah. full of holes. Couldn't patch it up quick enough. Dead. Right, we'll turn off now, lads. That was it. We're yeah, that, that, that's that's the cue always for us turning off CFDs when we get sunk. Yeah, yeah. We either, have a, we either have a hall that's too good to be true and we're like, yeah. oh, okay, we, we've done great. We've had a great few hours here. Then we turn it off. Or, you know, we, we've we're playing for a little bit of time. We think, oh, okay, we'll go back out to see and just see what trouble we can find. And then, you know, we, we get sunk and can't be asked to go back out. So we just turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Fair day. It's just, it's just you know. one of those games, I think, unfortunately. That's, that's what, I think that's so, what it, yeah. It's what it makes you do, doesn't it? You just think, oh, I can't be bothered now. You know. <laughs> yeah, because it's a lot of effort to, you know, really go back out there once you once you've been out there and done it and you know you're in full flow it's like oh this is great but then you know if it's if, yeah. if you have to stop and then really start again you're like mm, mm. no yeah. yeah it's not it's not the but time no, it, it's still a, it's still a really cool game I, I, I love playing it still so um yeah I me too i love a, it awesome just had a quick uh quick game of fifa before i mm. join the pod so that's my game and exploits for the week it was a good free kick that you scored as well. Mm, shame I lost. Anyway. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> finally. Finally scored a free kick. It's took me absolutely ages. And I've got that nice it... uh, achievement for it. Worth 15 Gs? About 15, nice. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, somewhere like that, yeah. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not good bad. stuff. Not bad. What about you? Um, I've been playing more um, Super Mario 3D World. Nice. Cool. Uh, I'm a world... I'm on world eight at the minute, and it's not, it's telling me that that's the like the Bowser world. So yeah, the one I've just done final. was yeah, the one I've just done was the castle, and the one I'm on at the minute, which I'm I'm nearly like at the bit where you would fight Bowser, I guess. Um, it's telling me it's the Bowser level because it's the Bowser logo next to the world. Awesome. Yeah, sorry, no. okay. it's really good. I really love it. I love the I love how different each world feels like. The, the different mechanics that the game throws at you. Um, I, th I think it's really great. I think it's, yeah, it's going to be the first Mario game that I actually finish in my entire life. Wow. High praise. You never finished Mario game before? Not even like the no. other ones? Well, I was always a Sega guy. I, I, you know, you know, so, you know, when I was growing up, I had a Mega Drive and uh, I had an N64, but I wasn't overly enamored by or bothered by Mario 64 at the time. I was more interested in playing the wrestling games. You know, I wasn't really interested in playing anything but to be quite honest with you um that's you know that's not a knock on mario or mario kart or mario party or any of those other great 64 mario games it just wasn't something that i was into then then i moved on to the dreamcast so again you know played sonic adventure mm. and you know then you moved to, to playstation and xbox and you know i didn't really play the wii and all that sort of stuff so yeah this is gonna be the first mario game that i properly finish awesome and it's stuff. great. I I really love it. Um, highly recommended for sure. Um, I've also been playing Animal Crossing a lot. Nice. Um, been sort it's of going right. onto that every day and um, doing stuff that I need to do. And my island's really coming along now. It's not great. Kay's is way better than mine. Uh, yeah. She's really into it as well. So I think that's sort of, you know, uh, getting me to play it as well because we could play something we could play together. You know, yeah. even if it's just sort of running around on each other's islands and doing stuff like that. It's really good fun. And I love seeing the progression aspect of it with, you know, your islands coming along and all that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, they've been playing that. Been playing more Wrestling Empire. Still really into it. Um, I wrestled, uh, wrestled a couple of weeks in Canada for Maple Leaf Wrestling. Um, then I was, uh, I did a little stint uh, for Hollywood Wrestling. And now <laughs> nice. I'm wrestling in Japan. Oh, that's see. So I'm in Japan at the minute. Um, looking to sort of, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. a mark. Yeah, I'm gonna go for, um, gonna, 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 you know, go to win championships in Japan. Uh, you know, my, my my wrestler's 40 years old now, but he's losing weight, so he's getting back in shape. Nice, which is I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still, uh, I'm still playing that. I'm really, really enjoying myself. <laughs> um, Seven and, seven stars from Meltzer for your first match. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I'm dominating at the minute. I'm I'm doing really well in Japan. I'm, I'm you know because I've been a tag team wrestler. I've been a singles wrestler, uh, but you know now I've gone back to being a singles wrestler. And um, yeah, that, that's that's where I'm gonna. I, I think I'll probably end up finishing my career in Japan unless I get a, a big offer from 
you know, like uh, Federation Online or somewhere like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's cool is they're, they're adding... So um, yeah, I'm going to say, you probably can say it for me, but they have the six-sided ring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, adding, they're adding the six-sided ring next week as part of the uh, the new update and also okay. um, the barbed wire exploding death match as well. So Nice. Uh, adding good. new stuff all the time, it's just great. You know, he's, he's improving things you know, every with every update, and that that's really great. They've just added like du proper double team moves instead of double team moves that relied on connection. Do you oh, understand right. what I mean? So, like before, mm -hmm. you do like an overhead belly to belly suplex, and the guy you know who that guy hit would also finish the move off with something else. So, like an overhead suplex into a cutter or something like that. But now we've mm -hmm. got actual double team moves in there as well, like you know the three D double power bombs that sort of, that sort of stuff. Cool. So yeah, really enjoying that, and I've been dipping in and out of FIFA and Control as well. Good just really, just really enjoying gaming, to be quite honest. Yeah, good week in gaming. I like it. Yeah, absolutely, good stuff. Um, is there any gaming news this week? I don't really feel like there has been. Um, at least not that I've been paying attention to. No, I thought there was something, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I mean, why would we pay attention? We only do a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> good point. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think it was anything like super huge or anything. No. Okay, then. So I guess that brings us on to everybody's favorite segment monthly. Mm -hmm. That's right, kids. It's Games of the Month. Yes, time for Games of the Month. We have a new music uh, theme. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Okay. There's actually a game <laughs> last month I missed out. Really? Oh, yeah, an epic game sequel to another epic game that was super popular a while ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was <whistle's> just killed me. I'm just going to even know what game this is from. This is a home. Um, yeah, the game's called uh, Huni Pop 2, which is a, uh, like a puzzle game in the same vein as Jeweled, that match colors, things right. like that. The twist is the better you do, you have like a little anime female character with you, and the better you do, the more clothes come off of the female character. Oh, right. Of course. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a game, it's not like a meme game that came out like years ago. It was super okay. popped on like, human things. Um, and now they've got a sequel, and it's, it's, yeah, it's all the same. That's all I can tell. I've not played it myself. I've been told it's, you know, good by friends, but I've not, you know, played it. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't concentrate I can't with this music. I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's too loud. I is all I can hear is whistling. <laughs> yeah, it's just making me laugh. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me turn it down a bit. <laughs> oh. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Good quiet now. Uh, it's too good. Right. <laughs> so, Mark's first. A few days ago now. The game called Foregone. The game on PC and PS4, Switch, and Xbox One, which is a fast and fluid TD action platformer packed with legendary loot and stunning pixel art. Right. Uh, yeah, collect your else arsenal, powerful weapons, and memorable compelling story, blah, blah, blah. It's a two good platformer, basically. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah, maybe a Metroidvania, kind of, maybe. It looks fine. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Um, we've got a game called Harvest Moon One World, which is a sequel to uh, Harvest Moon. That's a many, Nintendo many game, right? Uh, yeah, kind of. It was originally. I was on the snares, I think. But now it's on PS4, Switch, and Xbox, and everything else. Right, um, okay. Yeah, sort of a bit like Animal Crossing. And then you're, you know, it's focused on farm. You're like, you own a farm. You've got to, like, keep the farm running, make money. Sure, yeah. Yeah. It's cute. I played one, like, years ago. It's good. Just keep calm. It's like, like yeah, Animal Crossing. It's in the same plane as that. <laughs> I love <the> music. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I am this. It's You're brilliant. Just, that is a hell of a find. That is a uh, hell of a find. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, concentrate, guys. I'm trying to try and do a list here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. man, sorry. <laughs> Go on. Uh, March the 2nd, uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon came out on PlayStation 5, finally. It, it did, yeah. Got nice it was on PS4 update. before, but it was the PlayStation 5 update, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yes. So it was on PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X before. Now it's on PS5. So you get nice yeah, I'm not sure why. I mean, there must have been, obviously, there was some sort of exclusivity deal there with um, Yakuza being on um, Xbox Series X first. Yeah, I think Microsoft got a uh, 
deal there. Because all the other Yakuza games came out on Xbox Game Pass recently. Yeah. And I thought this. So must have paid them paid Sega a bunch of money. Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> That's all good. Um, what else we got? There we go. This is a game we can talk about in our style. A game called Bang On Balls. Uh, oh, come <laughs> on. What is this? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it is a uh, odd ball of a 3D platform game with collectathon spin. Uh, become a reckless hero as you do missions, collect items, and search for secrets rolling through various historical events. It's a platform where you control the ball, basically. <laughs> it looks Bang right. on balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's already my game of the month just because of its name. I don't, I'm never going to play it and I've you know, no intention of it at all, but uh, the name is phenomenal. So 100% game of the month. Hard to mention it. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm skipping a lot because there's a lot of garbage, as usual. Um, so much oh, garbage, so released much daily. Yeah. Uh, we've got a game called Mortal Shell, which I believe is on other things, but this came out on yep. PS5 Xbox Series X. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that is on other stuff, yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. Sort of like a Dark Souls kind of, maybe? I'm not actually looked into it myself, but... Yeah, it looks cool. Very dark. Like, um, Yeah, very Dark Souls-ish. Okay. Yeah. What else we got? Um, the game called... Oh, music stops. Kind of that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, Postal Redux, which is a remake of the classic Postal, Postal game, which was a very um, violent, dark game for its time. Uh, got banned everywhere. <laughs> it was Postal? Great. Postal, yeah. You mean like delivering mail? Exactly. You run around killing people. This twin, twin, six, uh, twin stick shooter. Huh. Uh, you just go around killing people, pedestrians, innocent people, enemies, ostriches, apparently. Wait, do you, do you uh, play as a postman? I guess. I don't even know. Um, let's have a look. Uh, it's a high definition remake of the postal dude's infamous first foray into the world. Prepared to experience his psychological journey with faithfully recreated high resolution visuals, rewritten music, sounds, and dialogue, and revamped and modernized gameplay. Crazed gunmen out for your blood await you around every corner. The only choice is clear. Get them before they get you. And they get to come right. It's all good. I the sequel yeah, got. Yeah, I remember the sequel came out on PS2 and got like instant demand everywhere because it's so, so bloody violent. Um, wow, I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's not a super popular game, but it's, it's like it's the most noteworthy thing is that it was just so violent and got banned. Right. That's the, most, that's the thing it's most known for, I think. All right. Okay. The, I guess it's yeah. on the phrase going postal, isn't it? Exactly. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, this is this is all new to me. I mean, maybe <laughs> you, never heard of the phrase, I you, you never heard of the phrase going postal? Yeah, I've heard it, but I never sort of used it in any in any way. So I have no idea what it means. Basically, yeah. you're going to lose your shit and just, you know, kill right. people, shoot places up. I'm not going to shoot. Right. Okay. Yet, yeah. It's just Pretty a bit fun. of a yeah, bit of a out there <laughs> phrase. Oh, okay. Every day's a school day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You learn something new every time you listen to the, our podcast. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, right, here we've got a game called The Dog Hates His Job for the Switch. Next good, box one. good name, good name. That sounds yeah. great, actually. Doug Hates His Job. Oh, you know what? I've seen this. I saw it on the Nintendo eShop just a couple oh, yeah? of days back. It's like a beat-em-up. Yeah, exactly. It's a 2D beat-em-up. Um, it's about three quid as well. Yeah, it's fun. Um it's a, a game with an office mockumentary style story about a sales agent who, as the title states, hates his job. Join Doug as he tries to deal with the typical everyday office pet peeves. Uh, you get to decide how Doug responds to annoying co-workers, crazy clients, and a ruthless boss. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. It was about three quid. And <laughs> I've, got like, I've got like some Nintendo gold points. It's going to cost me about one pound, so I'm going to buy it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. What else we got? Um... Oh yeah, Apex Legends comes out on Switch finally. It does. Yep. Uh, that's that's cool. like mon Monday, maybe uh, Tuesday. The ninth. Yeah. So that's what. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. So that's awesome. Um, March twelfth, we have uh, Cra Crash Bandicoot or PS Five, Xbox. Um, installing that, unlocking the trophy, back the trophy, uninstalling that, and never to be. Are you not even going to play it a little bit? I might check out the like the first level, first couple of levels, just to see like the shiny new graphics and stuff. Is that next Friday? Is it? Uh, March the twelfth. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm going to... I'll re-download that on Xbox and play it. I'm not going to go for the Platinum. I just want to play through the game, but... Yeah, that's fair enough. Also, there's no Platinums on Xbox, just game score, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm. um, we've got Stubbs the Zombie uh, Remaster coming out on everything. PC, PS4, Switch, Xbox One. Who asked for that, by the way? I don't know. Apparently, it's got like a like, cult following. There's a lot of fans back in the day. I think it was Xbox and something, wasn't it? It was on the original Xbox, yeah. Yeah. It looks fine. You control a zombie. You eat people. It looks fun. It's fine. Sure, yeah. Harmless. Yeah, harmless fun. Um, what else? Oh, baseball. Do you like baseball? Is there any and or Steve? Uh, no. No. Oh, okay, never mind. But Steve has <laughs> played. You used to play. You, well, you played the um, MLB the show, right? On yeah, PS4. Yeah. 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 yeah this they're, one's okay to, they're okay to play. They can be a bit difficult, and uh, obviously don't watch baseball but uh, yeah they're, they're fairly fun to play yeah they, they are difficult though the ones on the ps4 were really hard yeah they were yeah yeah, yeah it was called that uh, rbi baseball 21 what's what that stands for runs batted in i think uh yeah there you go see every again every day is a school day exactly so it's, it's, it's a sta- I, i'm pretty sure it's that there's probably baseball fans right now screaming going does it stand mm. for that um yeah, it's it's just a it's a stat that they use in baseball. I don't know what it means, but yeah. games, graps, yeah. and educational podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, on the oh, what's the date? Where's it going? Hold on. Uh, on the sixteenth of March, uh, we have Kingdoms of Amalur: Re Reckoning. It's the remaster of Kingdoms of Amalur, which is a uh, Elder Scrolls, isn't it? And um, apparently, yeah, the original games out came out years ago on Xbox 360 and stuff. No, no, I, I have that game. I've got Kingdoms of Amalur Re Reckoning on my Xbox. Oh, oh, okay. You've done Switch in, in nine days. Oh, apparently. right. Yeah. Okay, then. Right. Cool. Uh, and yeah, it's a really good game. Uh, again, that's like sort of a cult following. It didn't review super well back in the day, but it was, I enjoyed it. I played it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, uh, I've played it. It's good. It's, it is really popular as well. Um, it'll be cool. That, that's a cool game for Switch to get. Yeah, it's cool. I'm glad I got remastered. That's a fun game. I might get that at some point. Hmm. Maybe it's on, if it's in sale somewhere, that'd be cool one to get and play through again. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then we've got on the 18th of March, uh, Marvel's Avengers is coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X. Yeah, boy, I'm uh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. I've been I have been dipping in and out of it because um, on PS5 you can't really play at 60 FPS, but it just loses the 4K. Um, oh, yeah. So I'm I'm gonna play it. Well, I'm going to play the update. Hopefully, I'm sure my save file will just carry over, but um going to carry on 4K 60 FPS. And I really like it, and I, I still really like it, but it's characters that I like in a game that, um in a in a form of game that I enjoy. So um, yeah. I know it's, you know, not done brilliantly commercially. Um Critically, it did okay, uh, but it's an Avengers game, and I like the Avengers, and I like looters. And... The story mode is brilliant. I still stand by the fact that everyone should play the campaign because it really is brilliant. Yeah, fair play. Good stuff. The DLC, all the DLC is free because Hawkeye comes out uh, on the 18th as well. Cool. Excellent. Um, what else we got here? Um, oh, yes. Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe, which is a sure. compilation of both uh, Angry video, ne- video Game Nerd games. Of course, Angry Video Game Nerd is a... Um, Free YouTube like internet uh, content creator, um, very very funny. I used to watch him all the time back in the day. He still makes videos now. His last, you know, it's been going years and years and years. Is it um, the, the big guy? Uh, no, it's uh, sort of like a. He wears like the white shirt, um, like look like a classic nerd. He swears a lot. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay. really good. Look, thought... look him up. It's very funny. Okay. Yeah. Um, on twenty third, we've got Overcooked. All you can eat. Classic, which is overcooked. Um, yeah, we get one and two in one compilation, and the DLC and all the DLC as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome game, uh, enhanced as well. I think for uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X. Um, yeah, mentions both of those. Uh, yeah, come yeah. out on PS4, Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PS5, everything. Great games. We should definitely Great. continue our playthrough of that. By by the way, yeah, absolutely, we definitely should do that. So much fun. Um, oh yes, Tales of the Borderlands on twenty fourth comes out on Switch. Good game. game. The best really? Telltale game, in my opinion. Really good. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yep, so much fun. Superb story, fantastic soundtrack. Truly. Yeah. Like, a so fantastic good. soundtrack. So, so good. Here we go. 
Here's a game. Oh, with no, I can, I can tell by the smile on your face that this is going <laughs> to be something ridiculous. Yeah, Ooh. it's probably the most subtitles I've seen in any game ever. So it's called Love Live. So still, no, try again. Love Live School Idol Festival After School Activity YY Home Meeting. Ugh. <laughs> Which is a uh, rhythm game in the same vein as like Hatsune, Hatsune Miku. Um, uh, yeah, Japanese rhythm game. It looks cute. It's fine. Could on PS4. Okay, fine. I like Hatsune Miku. I'm not going to play that though. Uh, probably not, no. It's the longest title ever. Love Live School Idol Festival After School Activity YY. Home meeting. Why? Does it need to be that long, the, the yeah. title of that game, though? <laughs> it does not at all. Oh, boy. That's too much. Uh, <laughs> what else we got? Um, oh, yeah. Yakuza 6 comes out on PC, which is cool. And Xbox, cool. I think. The Song Very of good. Life, that one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's the one. I still really want to play that series. There's so many games. I know There's a lot of them, yeah. I mean, you know, they're all readily available now in this country with English words, which is great. So yeah, very very cool. You, yeah, there's just a lot of them. I I understand what you mean. They they look so great, and you know I have like dipped in and out of the first one, and um, I ha I have got like a dragon as well, but it just feels like there's a lot to catch up on. Yeah, absolutely. What else we got here? Um, oh, we have um on twenty six we have Balan Wonderland Wonder World, excuse me, which is the game made by. Uh, guys for me from Sonic Team. Looks okay. sort of like nice into dreams kind of game. Um, previews went out a while ago and they weren't super popular. They weren't super ah. positive. Um, yeah, I'm a bit worried about that one. It looks awesome. Looks like super interesting. <coughs> but yeah, a bit worried about that one. Hopefully okay. it's good. Well, it'll be awesome, but yeah, who knows? Um, what else we got? On the 30th of March, we get every single Kingdom Hearts game released on PC. Literally everything. Okay. Uh, every little compilation. Oh, even all the weird ones in between? Even the weird ones. Uh, even the rhythm game uh, that came out just now. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Well, that came out, did it? I, I... Yeah, Melody of Memory came out in December, I believe. And nobody bought it. No, it came out in November. It's like, why as a PS5 and everything came out? Terrible time to release it. Why would you do that then? Just wait. And <laughs> were, you, were you about to say then that nobody bought it? Yeah, pretty much. Right, okay. <laughs> I really want to get it at some point, but it's why would you release it? Right as PS5 comes out. Makes Crazy. no sense at all. Brain dead. Absolutely stupid. Um, this, is interesting. this is something I didn't know existed, but we've got Doom 3 VR coming out on PS4. Yeah, I did see that this was coming out, actually, and I thought, wow, that's com com completely out of nowhere. Yeah. That's a cool game and scary as shit. So in VR, that's going to be really terrifying. Yeah. That's very cool. I really liked Doom 3 back in the day. So. Yeah, Doom 3 is really good. Yeah, I've got it on my Switch actually. I've got Doom Three. Oh, yeah. Um, it's really good, and that will be terrifying in VR. Really yeah, terrifying. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, what else have we got? Um, The Binding of Isaac is getting another DLC. It's going to be out forever. This yeah. is the final DLC. It's really, really good. Really, really bizarre and weird. Sort of coming out on PS Five and Xbox One now. Xbox One X rather. Um. And that's awesome. I might jump back into this because I really enjoyed it back in the day. Fair enough. Yeah, good yeah. game. But it has game. been around forever. DLC, I can't believe they're still chucking DLC out for it. Yeah, madness. Uh, speaking of a game that's been around for a while, uh, Diablo 3, season 22, is happening, <laughs> which is nuts. Wow, really? Another game is still happening, yep. Great game. Oh, man, what a game that is. That's such yeah. a good game. Holy shit. Yeah, you know, the, the expansion as well. Like, was it Resident Evil, something like that? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, so good. So uh, good. What else? I think it might be about it. Oh, here we go. A game, a game called Tunch. T U N C H E. <laughs> it sounds That's a like great name. It sounds like an insult. It's like absolute tunch. <laughs> and it's and now we're definitely going to use it as an insult. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what are you doing, you tunch? God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tunch is a charming hand-drawn beat 'em up hack and slash game with roguelike elements, just like everything else. Yeah, uh, cop and a pinch of shaman witchcraft. Ooh, Jesus! Uh, yeah, it looks a two D beat em up. It looks cute. Yeah, cool. That's that and punch. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And that's about it. Oh, we got Monster Hunter Rise come to Switch as well. That's a pretty big deal. For a lot of that's Nintendo. a really big deal. You just like played that down <laughs> so much. Oh, we've got this as well. That's a really big deal. That's going to be. I'm not going to play it because Monster Hunter is just a bit overwhelming to me. But um, so, yeah, I mean, it looks really good. I didn't play the demo, but it looked really good. Yeah, really good. Big huge game. I just got, like, got lost in the shuffle of like crap. <laughs> in the list of crap. Um, yeah. Yeah. Super awesome game. And also, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 comes out on PS5 and Xbox One X. Gets oh, yeah, update, of course, yeah. Which is very cool. Series X. Yeah, I'll give you a note, but yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, it clearly Tunch is the game of the month for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, my game of the month, I'm looking forward to the Avengers the most, only because I'm really looking forward to playing it in 4K and 60 FPS and really properly carrying on with it and going for the Platinum. So, Goes up. Awesome. And yeah, that is the games of the month. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed the <laughs> the new music to that goes along with games of the month. Enjoy that every month. Yes. And if you know what game that's from, you get bonus points. So well done. For what? Like the Eliminator? Um, no, it's like people listening at home. If you know what it is, you get one Twitter point. Yeah, one Twitter point. point. This is the point. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Good. Right, one Twitter point. <laughs> uh, cool. So that's that. Good month. Cool. Tell them. Yeah. Kind of. yeah some, to be honest, there's some more right stuff in there. Crash. Um, you know, that the Series X PS5 update. That's cool. Same for Tony Hawk and the Avengers. Um yeah, yeah you got Tunch as well. <laughs> and Tunch, Bang yeah. on Balls or whatever it was called. Oh yeah, Bang on Balls. And Love Life School out of Best of All. Um after school activity, why why home meeting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's, the, <laughs> that's probably the game of the month, in truth. Of course, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just right, gentlemen. Cool, right, time. Finn leads the series at three to two. It is time for the Eliminator. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. We need, like, a, a little yeah. thing for this as well, like a like an introduction, like a game show introduction. <laughs> Like who wants to be in there? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah. yeah. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got a good selection of wrestling and video game questions this week. Wrestling. Cool. <laughs> okay. Question number one. Do we have pens and paper ready, first of all? Yes. Okay. Which legendary tag team set a record with a 16-month-long reign as WWE Tag Team Champions? Was it A, the Legion of Doom, B, Demolition, C, the Beverly Brothers, or D, Money, Inc.? Damn. You didn't say that one of the it was. <laughs> Can I make your guess? Pens down, please. Finn, as you are the leader currently, we'll start with you. What did you have? I've gone for demolition, which is a pure guess because I have no idea. Okay, Steve. Demolition. Ooh. Ooh. The answer was demolition. Congratulations. Oh wow. Nice. All right. Lucky guess. Question number two. In which game did Pyramid Head make his debut? Oh, come on now. Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, or 4? <laughs> Pens down. Finn? Um, I do believe it was number 2. Okay. Steve? I guess I went for number one, but I'm guessing Finn's right because of how confident he was. <laughs> um, yeah, it was indeed Silent Hill 2. Hey. Was there even a slither of doubt there, Finn, when um, I was reeling them off? Um, part of me thought it might make a quick appearance in one. I was like, hmm. but they played a massive part in two. I thought it had to be two. Yeah. And it was two, so congratulations. Yeah. And I was being hauled, hauled out in bloody, what are those machines called? Konami does. 
I don't know what they like. No, it's like gambling machines. Um, I think that I think later. gambling machines. Yeah, like little machines that's popping in Japan. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think they are. But like that, Konami makes a crap ton of those, and that's why they're not making any games because they make so much money on those. It's like, ah, screw games, we'll just do this forever. And it's oh, like, okay. Oh, it's like Metal Gear oh, so Solid. They have, like a, they have like a pyramid head themed one, do they? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Metal Gear Solid. It's all called Daughter Crap. Oh, it's hauling okay. out all the popular franchises <laughs> on shit like that. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So, so Steve has it. Steve has lost the life. We didn't get the noise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number three. Whom did Macho Man Randy Savage defeat to become the Macho King? Was it Jerry the King Lawler, Harley Race, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, or Brett the Hitman Hart? That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Pens down. That's very smart. Finn? Um, something was telling me Jim Duggan. I don't know why. Steve? Probably wrong. Jerry Lawler. Okay. That's probably right. The answer is, bizarrely, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hey. I don't know why I know that. There's something in my mind that's like, Jim Duggan. That's a weird question. That, that is a weird one. Kaylee asked me... That uh, when we were looking at these the other week, and uh, I got the answer wrong, I had no idea. Wow, there you go, yeah. smartness, any more back in knowledge in my brain, this any. That's there you not go, true. That's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> it could be true. It's not. Okay. Right. <laughs> Steve, you've lost two lives now. You've got three left, so there's still plenty of time. Yeah, there's plenty. Still lots to play for. Still a lot to play for. Plus, still many weeks of eliminator. Probably four weeks now. Yeah. Before WrestleMania. Fucking hell, really? Jesus. Wow. Okay. Okay. Next question. Which video game character sets out to free the Gobos from Baron Dante? Was it A, Spyro? B, Crash? C, Croc? Or D, Gex? Uh, there's two. That's four. Four. That's okay. Well, you're back here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ben's down. Finn, answer please. I'm on for Croc. I definitely recognize the name. Name, yeah. sorry. Steve? Spyro. That was my other guess. Um, the answer is Croc. The game was actually called Croc Legend of the Gobos. Ah, uh, yeah. Good old Croc. Classic. Underrated. It is underrated, actually. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Croc. Yeah, good game. I'm surprised that's never, ever seen the light of day again, actually, to be honest. Yeah, we mastered it. You know, do, a, do a Spyro and Crash. Like be yeah, I mean, that was super popular back in the day on the PS1. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Steve, you are under the life down, my friend. Great. <laughs> sounds so fucking harsh, Ooh. doesn't it? The, uh, the the losing life noise. A bit. I thought I had yeah. rock, but I was thinking of something else. Okay. Just looking through my questions here. Hmm. Picking a good one. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Which future WWE champion defeated Jeff Hardy via knockout in his first official WWE match at Backlash 2002? Ooh. That's an open-ended question. Oh, shit. Sure. Doesn't two, jeez. Pens down, please, gents. Ah, I lose. <laughs> Can't even think. <laughs> ben, did you get an answer? Uh, no, I've been out of time. 
No, that's a live loss for you. Noise, please. <laughs> Sorry. Steve, who did you get? I went for Brock Lesnar. That was also in my head. The answer is Brock Lesnar. Yep. Damn. Well, when I say it? I was like, yeah, oh, that was his first Brock official Lesnar. match. He came in. Um, he came steamrolling in on Raw, destroyed everyone, including Spike mm. Dudley, who I actually think he killed at the time. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> yep. Fought Jeff Hardy at Backlash and won. Nice. By knockout. Sweet. Finn, I can't believe you didn't get anything down. I time. know. I think the same thing is. I was thinking Brock. I just thought it was too early for Brock. I thought it came later, but no. Brock always comes too early. <laughs> hey, hold mm -hmm. on. Which one was it? I'm coming for you, boy. And I'm coming hard. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm coming early. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Next question. This is an open-ended question as well. Cool. Eddie Riggs, the protagonist of the 2009 game Brutal Legend, is voiced by which American actor and musician? It's a fucking awesome game, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pens down. Finn. It is. I was listening to his song earlier. Um, Jack Black. Steve? I, I ain't got a clue, so I just went for Jared Leto. He's the only actor-musician that came into my head at the time. Fair enough. The answer is indeed Jack Black. E. He plays Eddie Riggs in Brutal Legend. Good game. Really good game. Really good you game. can play that by backwards compatibility on um, Xbox Series X, actually. It's really good. Awesome. Steve, That's you should definitely cool. check that game out. It's really good. Yeah. And yeah, really funny as well. Complete guess because I've never played it. Never heard That's of fair it. enough. So, Steve, you you are now down to yeah, just definitely definitely give it a go. It's good. Um, Steve, you're now down to one life. <laughs> <laughs> good times. I suck. <laughs> nah, you can double it back. Next question. No. <laughs> Whom did Brock Lesnar beat in the finals to become the? 2002 King of the Ring. Was it A. Jeff Hardy, B. Billy Gunn, C. Rob Van Dam, or D. Tommy Dreamer? Good guess for me. Can you say them again, please? Really? Yes, really. Okay. A. Jeff Hardy. I can't remember the order. <laughs> oh, B, Rob Van Dam. But Rob yes. Van Dam was in there. Um, Jeff Hardy, Billy Gunn, RVD, or Tommy Dreamer? The fact you can remember the other ones makes you think it's... <laughs> okay. Finn, what have you got? I've gone for Rob... Man, damn. Steve? I went for Jeff Hardy. Finn, congratulations. You are the winner of no. this week's yeah. Eliminator. Wow. Rob Van Dam was indeed the correct answer. I got a lot of lucky guesses there. <laughs> I had more questions. Yeah. I, was, I was anticipating a better week for you there, Steve. Well, what can I say? <laughs> Let myself well, down. I literally Let picked me... out a load more questions. I've let my fans down. I've let my family down. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a tough, it's tough to take. It's tough to take. But uh, okay. I'll be I'll be back stronger. What can I say? I'll be back stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Finn, that we you got now... well, done. well done, Finn. Thank Give you, yourself thank a you. round of applause, Finn. <laughs> okay, so Finn now leads the Eliminator 4-2. Now, today, uh, the day of recording is the 6th of March. So, WrestleMania is... I'm just uh, going to get some dates here. WrestleMania is the... Five weeks. The last eliminator. Yeah, so 
One, two, three, four weeks of the Eliminator. Then the week after, that's WrestleMania. Hmm. Cool. It's all to play for. It is all to play for. It is. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, there's still plenty of time to crawl it back. I mean, you could literally come back and win 6-4, which would be awesome. I'd love that. <laughs> what? what a comeback that'd be. Yeah, it really will be. It's so, the, I remember that week I got nothing right, like every single wrestling ball. Yeah, so there's, 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 it's, all to, it's literally it all to play for. It yeah. Can it can happen. It can happen. It's the Eliminator. It sure is. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Greatest game show ever made. It is. It's a great, it's the, be- the best podcast game show that you could, you know, you could probably listen to. <laughs> Maybe the only one as well. <laughs> There's got to be more. They're just not as good. No. Agreed. No. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, that moves us on to the wrestling part of the podcast. Yeah. Steve, uh, I'll let you yes. lead the way with the highs and lows in the week mm. in professional wrestling. So we will start off with Raw, as that was the first yep. show of the week, or our week yeah. at least. And probably the one with the biggest so, news of the week as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, potentially. Because. It depends how you, with AEW, with what the big show said. Yeah. But anyway, we'll come on to that. Um, mm. So yeah. With, the big uh, show? Where are Anyway, um, so Raw. Yeah. Main main theme throughout the night was uh, Miz basically avoiding Bobby Lashley. So yeah. he's told, you know, get yourself ready. You've got a title match at 9 p.m. Eastern time, not European time. Uh, <laughs> so he's got an hour, an hour to get, an hour to get ready. Um, after that, we had a brutal Sheamus versus Drew match. It was, it was oh, brilliant. Man. Really These two so beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was really good. Loads of false finishes. Uh, it felt like a Gargano Champa match. It was mad. Mm. Uh, it, it felt to me like a, a pay per view level sort of match on on TV. It was great. Yeah, it was really yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I, I think um, it was it was definitely a pay per view quality match. I, I I really enjoyed it. And you know what? It's one of their matches usually that I just wouldn't care for. Like I wouldn't yeah. be interested in seeing it. Yeah, at first I was like, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. When it started, I was like, oh, this is really good. <laughs> so, yeah. what, a, what, a, what, a, what an amazing thing when two very talented people are, are able to just go out there and uh, put on their own match. <laughs> exactly, yeah. They're not forced into like five minutes spot yeah. best or whatever. So, like, you've got about half an hour, just go and do whatever you need to do. I mean, you could tell that they'd put their all into it because Seamus was sweating buckets. <laughs> yeah, he was knackered. Yes. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprised he didn't turn grey. He lost that much water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, really, really good match. Um, Seamus won, didn't he? I'm trying yeah. to remember now. No, yeah. Drew, no. Won. Drew won. Drew won. Yeah. Drew yeah. was yeah. It, kicked, it was that uh, one I uh, forgot. Drew kicked and like, Drew just got there. Yes, so. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he basically kicked the side of Seamus' face off. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It was really good. Yeah. I, think, I think this is a... It was very much a case of, look, these two are... Obviously, mates wrestled each other down the years, mm-hmm. and they just said, "Look, let's just beat the shit out of each other." It was great, <laughs> really, really yeah. good. Yeah, it was um, really good, yeah. Yeah, we had uh, Nia Jax versus Naomi. Uh, Nia Jax won again. That singles push. I'm telling you, it's happening. She's going to be the champion soon. And, uh, 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 I, felt, I felt bad for Naomi here. Um, I don't really understand why or what the purpose of this match was, but yeah, yeah just uh, to stick Naomi in the firing line there. So. Uh, a little bit brutal, I think. Yeah. I am right in saying that Naomi and Lana do have a title shot for those tag titles, don't they? Because Yeah. So. They've not had it, have they? Just, no, no. No, they have, I, I don't think they've had it. No, I don't think they've had it either. You are right, though, because they won... Um, yeah, they, they won the right to, to do it the other week on Raw, yes. didn't they? Yeah. yeah. They did. They did. Um, Miz then obviously fakes that he's got a bad stomach. Got the two bob bits. Um, yeah, it's good. Lashley, <laughs> <laughs> um, Lashley comes backstage and uh, attacks him and says, "You've got another hour." So that's ten p.m. European time. <laughs> <laughs> he switched off at this point. There's no point in saying it. Um, no, it's for us, isn't it? It's for us. We, we, we yeah, got it. for sure, for sure. Bit more of a progression with the. Um, Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon 
thing. So Braun and uh, Adam Pearce had a tag team match for the titles against the Hurt Business. They obviously lost. I, I think this is just heading heading in one direction. Braun versus Shane at WrestleMania. I mean, it has to be. I, I can't. I can't I see so. any other purpose for Shane being on TV. Um, I I feel for Braun. I mean, since he lost that Universal title, he's done uh, literally nothing. nothing. Yeah. Um, also, we're going to start um, a Games and Grabs GoFundMe to get Adam Pearce some ring gear because yeah. <laughs> so far he's wrestled in um, like a plain T-shirt and like tracky bottoms. And this yeah. week he wrestled in his suit. Yeah. So, you know, I think he needs to get some ring gear. You know, we'll see what we can raise, Adam. We might have enough for uh, some pants and a knee pad. One knee pad, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all donations but, are welcome yeah, yeah so if you just go to paypal hashtag support adam pierce um <laughs> <laughs> or, no hashtag adam needs brax that's what it's going to be <laughs> brax. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. so uh damien priest continues his unbeaten street undefeated since his debut beating mm. elias that was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then we come to the Lashley and Miz match, uh, and <laughs> Miz just legs it out of the building with the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, I thought it was really funny. Um, Lashley obviously he wins because Miz is counted out, but obviously he keeps the belt. But that's not the last we'll see of that for the night. We'll come on to that in a little bit later. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to please Finn, Charlotte states her intention for WrestleMania, saying she wants to face Oscar. Uh, Baszler and Jax interrupt because of course they do because they need to of be course, yeah. every single every single show, yeah, yep. three times a night, mm. which is yeah, it's just what we want to see. It's because uh, the, the raw beats. roster is so thin. You know, there's no one. There's no yeah, one. You know. That's true. With any talent backstage, you know, sitting waiting for an opportunity, not at all. So you need to have, you know, these same wrestlers, these same twelve wrestlers appearing, <laughs> you know, throughout the night just to make just to make a three hour show. Yeah. Exactly. Well, mm. Oscar, Oscar wasn't there to to respond to Charlotte because apparently she's got a concussion following uh, Shayna Baszler hoofing her in the face. The week to be fair though, her tooth did come flying out. It's absolutely <laughs> it awful. It's brutal. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, apparently good. she's uh, concussed from that. And I'm not surprised. And hopefully yeah. getting a, a tooth fixed as well, poor girl. Yeah. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, Shock Horror, Retribution lost again. Yeah. <laughs> to Lucha House Party and uh, Riddle. Joke's yeah. over now, right? Surely. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. Especially now that straight after that, uh, Mustafa Ali beat Riddle in a non-title match. So, I want to yeah. see just Mustafa Ali just go off on a singles run now, you know, bin them lot off. Um, yeah, we, we, he's been established as the heel. That's fine. Yeah, um, of course. But you know, as a as a as a group, they lose all the time. It, I just don't mm. think that the experiment hasn't worked. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, the names are so shit that it's unbelievable. Really, like I don't know who. Well, we know who's thought of them, and the, yeah, that person's <laughs> a fucking idiot. And yep. <laughs> you know the the joke's over it really is it's just to be honest it was shit from the first time they showed that fake security footage of them just like banging on the window outside the performance center yeah it's so like setting yeah. fireworks off or whatever they were doing <laughs> yeah it hasn't, so it hasn't worked has it hasn't worked no i mean it's, it's the opposite I think of... it's a shame it, it could have been something really cool it really could but it's not the thing is, if you're going to bring a faction in like that, you have to have them dominate from day one. You have to have them, um, you know, actually, you know, it's, it's fine having them come in and, and wrecking the ring and like acting like idiots, but that it just looks stupid because it's not believable. No. Yeah, like to, in wrestling, you know, it's not believable that these people could just, you know, get into the building. I know it's wrestling and I know they're probably thinking of too much about it, but, you know, it's not believable that these people can just get into the building and to the ring and then start tearing it apart and everyone like scarpers for their life. No. Yeah. Which one, which one's got the, the hockey mask? Shane which Thorne. Yeah. Shane yeah. Thorne. Slap do you remember the, uh, do you remember the <laughs> Simpsons episode, Pie Man, where Homer becomes Pie Man? 
Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Every time I yeah. look at it, I think, Pimo. Yeah. Just to be honest, I'm, I'm amazed that that's not his name. Pie Man, yeah. <laughs> I'll bring a new one in. Let's call him Pie Man. Yeah. It just doesn't, it's just, it's just not, it's just, they, 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 they executed it poorly. It's not Retribution's yeah. fault. It's the, <laughs> the, the booking yeah. of Retribution. Like, have them come in. Like, they made a mistake by saying that a new faction was coming tonight. That was the first mistake. Yeah. By advertising on social media that a new faction was coming. Mistake number one. Mistake number two is putting them in them ridiculous costumes and giving them ridiculous names. Yeah, Mistake they... number three is having them lose all the time repeatedly. Yeah, I don't get that. Like, they lost to an elbow drop, <laughs> lose a house party. Like, really? <laughs> Come on. I think, I mean, I've said it before, but I think having them drafted to Raw as well, having them drafted to a specific show, they were supposed to be anti-establishment. They were supposed to be yeah. there to ruin things. They should have been on whatever show they wanted to be on, really. Yeah, turn up anywhere. Uh, NXT, 205. Turn up, turn up anywhere. Yeah. Main event. And really, really play on this. Because the hacker thing, I was getting really excited about that. I thought this is going to be really, really cool. We all suspected it was Mustafa Ali. And then that kind of disappeared. And then it was, uh, oh, by the way, I, I was the hacker. And nothing yeah. came of it. <laughs> Again, that could have been something that was really, really cool. But it's, it's almost as though the writers don't know what they're doing. But anyway... Shocker. We'll, shocker. We'll move on. Um, I mean, it'd be interesting to see how much longer they do carry this on for. Yeah, I, I can't see it going. I'd be shocked if Retribution is still a thing past WrestleMania. Yeah, for Me sure. Too, yeah. Because hopefully we get Riddle versus Mustafa Ali at Mania. I, mean, I think for, we'll definitely get for, that. Yeah. For the US title, which would be really cool. That should be a really good match if that and happens. That could, that could be the breaking of Retribution, though. Couldn't it? Yeah, that yeah, maybe, it, you know they could cost uh, Mustafa Ali the, the the match in some way, mm. um, yeah. and then you know that what you know it could be a case where that you turn all of them face like the guys that are behind the masks, uh, you know like Mustafa Ali loses they cost him the match and then they're like right we're sick of all this shit and take all the masks off and lo and behold it is actually me or you after all who knew and like, yeah sure. and yeah oh here we all are. Mm. Yeah, right. I'm actually yeah. Dominic with no hair. That might work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that won't is... happen. Nothing we ever say on this podcast comes true. But no, that's true. That's you true. know, if we booked Raw, Raw would be really good, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Iris, yes, definitely. Mm. <laughs> Just give us a chance. Just give us a, give us like a a two month stretch of TV, like for yeah. Raw, and we'll we'll give the wrestling fans what they want. Exactly. Yeah. We'll do that, but then Vince will chat up last second and make, you know, ball sack fight. Alistair Black? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Just call him Black. In fact, no, we can't yeah. say that. Just call him Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear me. He probably, like, yeah, yeah. he probably... He'd probably like drop the ball completely and have him like come out in a Black Lives Matter t-shirt, totally missing the point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Vince. You yeah. joke, aren't you? Vin Vince won't know what Black Lives Matter is until about five years' time. That's true. Remember, <laughs> when, he said the, remember when he said the M word on TV? That was good. Yeah. Oh. Hello, yes, Vince. Well then. Yeah. It's, it's amazing the, the stuff that goes through that man's mind. Truly. Me, yeah. Ka um, Kaylee sent me that the other week. Because I think it was oh, like yeah. the first oh, time. She'd never she'd seen, seen it before, it. yeah. Yeah, she'd never seen it. And I was like, I take it this is the first time you've seen it. And she's like, I've been shocked. And I was like, yeah. thing is, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not because I've seen it before, because it's just like, it just it's doesn't surprise me. You know, it's Vince. But yeah. yeah. It's quite funny. I'm quite jealous in a way sometimes, with, like with Kaylee. She's experiencing some of these things for the first time, like yeah. in wrestling. Yeah, like seeing yeah. these things, it's like, oh, that's really like, you know, that's really cool. Yeah, like, some absolute could, gold yeah. as well. There's, oh, there's yeah. some stuff that, that's that's amazing that will just shock you and uh, make you laugh as well. But I feel like sometimes as well, like some of the stuff that we experienced for the first time, we were maybe too young to really fully mm. appreciate it. Yeah, and like sure. we, yes. could, yeah, yeah. we were like the age we are now, and like experiencing that stuff for the first time. Mm. Firstly, it would make for yeah. great podcast conversation, but um, yeah, I, I, you know, I think you'd probably appreciate references and stuff like that more. 
Yeah, certainly. Yeah, perhaps in game, Games Director Rewind. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen that specific um, show, so it might be interesting for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll talk about that at the end of the show, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That might be a quite a cool year. We'll talk about it at the end of the show. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Uh, and then finally, uh, on Raw, we had Lashley versus Miz, finally. But mm -hmm. he can't escape this time because we had uh, Lumberjacks at the side of the ring, retribution being them, so you know, those rebels then <laughs> retribution. <laughs> those absolute those absolute rebels. Oi, go out there and be lumberjacks. Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember and when everyone was running away from them? Yeah, no, exactly. just stood there talking at ringside. Yeah. yeah. Now they're just having a chat with Titus O'Neil going, well, why have you come out with no shirt on Titus? We know you're ripped. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> um do you think so like that. when they're talking they call slapjack slap or jack? Slappy. Slappy? Yeah. Yeah, Slappy. I quite like Slappy. That's a good one. Yeah. Slap nuts. This is what, what it should have been called. <laughs> slap nuts. Hey, Slap nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I love that clip. That's that awesome little Beetlejuice well. guy getting clattered by Jeff Jarrett. Absolutely <laughs> twats him with a guitar. That's one of the um, first time. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a full swing as well. Like Jeff Jarrett pulls <laughs> nothing back. I mean, the guitar's made of paper, but it's, it's the, 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 the velocity that he gives the swing that really <laughs> makes it. Poor little fucker, that'd hurt though, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, hey, slab nuts. What'd you yes. call me? Smack. It's like, yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. Oh god. Yeah. Um Bobby Lashley makes quite light work of Miz over in three minutes, and Bobby Lashley is our new WWE champion. And after wow. one, I'm all for it. Yeah. Me too, yeah. Huge. It's been, I feel like it's been a long time coming. I mean, it has been a long time coming. They kept mentioning the fact that, you know, this is Bobby Lashley's 16-year journey. You know, I know he's been world champion in, in Impact and, you know, probably other places. But, you know, regardless of whatever anyone thinks about pro wrestling and the hierarchy, WWE is the number one wrestling company in the world. Yeah. yeah. You know, and to be the, the champion of the number one wrestling company in the world – you know, says that you're one of, if not the biggest star in the world of professional yeah, wrestling. Big deal. A lot of people was like, oh, you know, it's a it's a, a fake sport, predetermined sport. Um, you know, they but, then people you know, don't understand what championships mean, but it means that it's like in a promotion at work. Yeah. You know, like the highest yeah, absolutely. Like, promotion at work. You are the most trusted person in the company. You're now trusted to be the face of that company. Yeah, and Bobby Lashley is now that, and it is a long time coming. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And, and a lot of the time, it, it they're made champions. Obviously, you know, they're, they're either they're selling a load of t-shirts or they've just worked really hard. But it, that's the stuff that we don't see. It's like yeah. when when, J when Jinder was made champion, everyone was like, "What the hell?" And people were saying, "Oh, it's to get into the to to the um, Eastern market and all of that sort of thing." But actually, Jinder worked so hard to get himself back into mm -hmm. wwe and obviously came back looking absolutely ripped and he's obviously worked hard on that and the the payoff is congratulations you're gonna you're gonna be our champion for yeah i mean randy orton always Fair put jinder mahal over like always talked about him like you know yeah. i'm, I'm yeah. podcasting and interviews and stuff saying how mm. how much hard work jinder did put in and yeah. you know and also people cry out for different different stuff and change all the time but then when you get it they complain about it yeah. So you know, there's almost no winning ever with wrestling fans. But yeah. you know, I I I enjoyed Jinder's run. I enjoyed him as you know as the champion and you know the heel. And I think he did. Yeah. I think he did good work, considering that he was really up against it at the time. Yeah. Uh, don't, but, him, don't hinder Jinder. Yeah, and <laughs> you know, it, I I thought I thought his run was fine. And you know, I think Lashley's run is going to be great. I hope yeah. he keeps it for a long time. I hope he's. Um, just not a not a placeholder champion like the Miz was. I mean, I know you know the Miz served his purpose. They had to get the briefcase off him somehow, and yeah. you know a lot of them have lost it recently. So it's probably best that yeah, one of them did actually win the belt. Yeah, but you know he, he served his purpose. Miz is very much a company man. He knows what he's doing. You know he knows his place. But Lashley it, looks like a heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, yeah. And hugely dominant. I think the Herb Bitters is the best thing on board right now. Uh, oh, it's just good, yeah. all action. MVP yeah. is great. And yeah, 
They're great. I'm so happy Bobby's finally champion. He should have been done years and years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, happy, happy for him. Good stuff. Good stuff. And like you say with Miz, okay, he's a he's been like a transitional champ. He knows mm -hmm. what he's doing. He's still going to get his WrestleMania match. You know, I'm of pretty sure now they'll they'll progress the uh, Priest Bad Bunny tag match versus Miz and Morrison. If of course, yeah. fit To do so. Um, so yeah, he'll still get his. You know, someone he doesn't going to damage someone like Miz, is it? So no, Miz has been around for so long. He's done so much. He's you know he's held basically every title bar the Universal title. So yeah, well, he's, he's, he's first such a good heel time. as well. Yeah, I think the first two time uh, Grand Slam champion. Like yeah. he won the Intercontinental title twice. He was champion yes, twice. It's not. It's not like he's had a crap career. He's got a reality no. TV show out of WWE, you know, there's a movie roles, you know, regardless of the movies being shit or not, but yeah. you know, he's, he's not done bad. You know, these are, these are a lot of things that I think wrestling fans a lot of the time tend to look beyond because they can only see or only want to see what's in front of them. But you mm. know, when you look at the bigger picture, um, was Miz going to be the champion for ages? No, of course he wasn't, No, no. but he was the champion. And now we've got a better champion. It's fine. We're all happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. So That's... what does this mean now for Lashley in terms of a WrestleMania program? Who is his opponent going to be? Brock. Uh, dream match. You, think, you think Brock? Um, well, it's a dream match. I don't think I actually have not Brock, you know, Brock's doing his own thing. We all want to. I think it will happen eventually, but I know it will happen for a while, yeah. Mm. Maybe SummerSlam. Yeah. That'd be nice. Mm. That'd be cool. Um, I... Uh, I think we get a multi-man at WrestleMania. Okay. okay. Um, because I think Lashley keeps it at, beyond WrestleMania. Because, oh, yeah. And I don't think him beating Drew clean would be the answer there. Okay. Yeah. Who would be the person? Miz. Oh, no. No, because I think we're going to have Miz. Um, maybe Keith Lee. Yeah, mm. I'd be good with that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I think I think we have like a, I think we have a four way. I don't think it's like a triple threat. I think we have maybe a four way. Um, okay. I think we'll start to see the wheels in motion, you know, after fast lane. Yeah, I agree. But um, I don't anticipate uh, it being a singles match between Lashley and Drew. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes sense. Um, yeah, Keith Lee maybe throw Sheamus in there as well. Yeah, that's a good shout. That's a really good shout, actually. Yeah, and you know, Sheamus take the blow. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, lastly, be you know, finish off Sheamus. Maybe that be. I could definitely see that being the case. Um, go, just going back to the Miz real quick. K K messaged me and said he was an awesome IC champ. Yes, I think probably he the best in incredible. recent memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah, really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's he's one of the best upper mid upper mid card guys around and has been for. A of very, course, very he definitely time. yeah, and that that will also be the reason why they trust, um, you know, them enough to have. Bad Bunny as part of that program with them, yeah, yeah. because they'll make yeah. it entertaining and interesting in the lead up to WrestleMania. Yeah, that's it. He, I mean, yeah. he is he is ent he is entertaining, isn't he? I mean, whether it's kind of comedy stuff, where it's being a detestable heel, like with the the Daniel Bryan stuff back on back in the day on Talking Smack. I think Daniel Bryan did an interview recently, and he was like, "Yeah, I, I thought did it was it Miz said I thought he was going to punch me, or Daniel Bryan said I was going to punch him because it was getting yeah. so real." It was getting yeah, so intense. Yeah. And that's all down to him. And, you know, fair play to him, Miz. I think uh, yeah. he does his job well, really well. Definitely. Uh, okay. So the WrestleMania main event, well, the Raw WrestleMania main event, um, I think Lashley comes out as the champion still. Um, yeah. But Keith Lee, Drew, and Sheamus um, in a fatal four way match, I think that sounds like money. I also think, you know, Vince will be sat backstage with his penis out for that match because yeah. that is a Vince McMahon. Dream match. Wet dream of a match. <laughs> yeah, it really is. You, there won't oh, be no WWE. Sweaty, yeah. There won't be no WWE 24 for that match because uh, <laughs> you know he'll be there with his painted on pubes and eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> hey, don't cut to me. Don't cut to me. You know he won't be hugging <laughs> and whoever wins wait. that match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vince McWank. Yeah. He won't, there you go. <laughs> he won't be. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to go fatal four way. I think that that would be that would make the most sense. Yeah, I would go with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, cool, cool. The thing is, though, they may they may do that though at fast lane. Maybe, maybe the winner. Sure, maybe. 
Yeah. Yeah. We might do that at Fastlane instead of uh, in, instead of going all the way to WrestleMania with that. Well, Fastlane's like two weeks away. I think that's two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty soon. Um, maybe they'll do a fatal four way of event, maybe a fast lane between you know those three guys and whoever wins that will get the main event at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. possibly. That, that would be typical WWE stuff. I could definitely see them doing that at fast lane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that might be the first to crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, right. Raw, so yeah, Raw was pretty good this week. It wasn't terrible. It was actually, yeah, it wasn't it, terrible. It was all right. It, it was yeah. really good. Uh, and I, I know they do this thing of, you know, if the main event is going to be this, they try and have something every hour, but it worked well this week. It worked with, with the whole Lashley and this mm-hmm. thing. It was really good. Yeah, it uh, broke right, it up nicely. Move, uh, yeah, it did. It did. Uh, and it wasn't kind of rinse repeat. It was it was different every time. Yeah. Um, I'll move on to NXT and then I'll do SmackDown after NXT. And then we'll talk AEW leading into obviously uh, our predictions for mm-hmm. Revolution. So mm. NXT, uh, Lorcan and Birch defeat Champer and Thatcher. Thatcher is distracted by Imperium uh, being able to take the ramp. That yeah. puts him off. Uh, looked like a typically brutal match between between those guys. Champer and Thatcher, are, they're, they're a good tag team. They're really, really good. They are a good tag team. They're like the, the odd couple of tag teams, aren't they? I know we've seen this yeah. a million times where yeah. like people are shoehorned together, but uh, I actually mm. like the dynamic between the two of them. And uh, I think Thatch is great, by the way. I mean, I, th- I, th- I yeah. really do think he's great. Yeah, me too. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, he is good. He's so really do, good. this is probably going to lead to maybe Champa and Thatcher against Imperium? Maybe. Mm. I noticed that in the background a couple of times, like Imperium guys are talking to you know, members of the roster. I think one of them was Timothy Thatcher. It's kind of in the background doing like one of these segments where, you know, the next wrestler's walking towards the camera. Yeah. yeah. I mean, do we maybe Timothy Thatcher take a place in Imperium as maybe. Walter? Obviously, you know, he's not going to be traveling over here anytime soon, um, you know, to to rejoin his Imperium buddies. You know, maybe that, that, could, that could be a thing where Thatcher joins up with Imperium. I wouldn't be against it. It'd be great. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Yeah, that could happen, definitely. Uh, Roddy Strong wants answers from from Adam Cole, but instead, obviously, Finn Balor comes out, and the two of them mm-hmm. have, a, have a bit of a dust-up, which leads on to a, a match later on in the night. Uh, mm-hmm. We had a good seg- segment with uh, The Way going to, to therapy. Again, uh, Gargano's comedy timing is just brilliant. He's, yeah, he's, uh, he, his, he's his so role good. at the minute is... You know, to be the, the the dumb comedic heel, and he plays <laughs> it so well. But then, yeah, you know, yes. to to be to be such a good wrestler as well, and yes. do everything that he can do in the ring. He's he's absolutely the total package. And yeah. oh, I mean, what what a valuable asset to to WWE and NXT. Johnny Gargano really is. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I said on here a few weeks ago. Didn't know that I, I wasn't overly keen on him. Yeah, they must have been. They must have been listening because they've changed it up, and uh, you know, I do really, I do really enjoy those segments now. With, with yeah, I, I also think Austin Theory is a great addition to that group because you know he's showing a, a different side uh, to you know to what he can offer as well. You know, because his yeah. comedy stuff is good as well. I, I, I do, mm. I, I, I like it as a total package. It works really well. Great group, yeah. cool T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, yeah very cool. Very cool. It was. Uh, I thought it was quite funny when uh, Austin Theory is talking to the therapist, and he says, "Oh, I, I quite like him. I quite like Dexter, Dexter Loomis. I, and wasn't that bad. I sat there and I watched cartoons all day, ate cereal, <laughs> ate a lot of cereal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. it was just really cool. It was all windows yeah. boarded up, and yeah, it was. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. yeah. <laughs> got, got to touch the old uh, Stockholm syndrome as uh, yeah. lost in theory. Yeah, I do um, like I do like Dexter Loomis as well. Yes. Yeah. Great. I liked him when he was Samuel Shaw in uh, Impact. To be fair, but um, cause he played a, a similar sort of character there. I think it's probably a bit creepier actually in NXT as Dexter Loomis. But uh, yeah, I like him a lot. I think he's really really good. Awesome. Yeah, same here. Um, next up, we had. Uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus Gonzalez and Dakota Kai because, of course, we need more Nia Jax and Shayna yeah. Baszler. On our yeah, biggest TV. superstars on the roster. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, all jokes <laughs> aside, I'm a bit. I'm, I'm, I thought this probably should have main evented this week. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree. The, uh, you know, have the have the women main event in, um, but it was on in the in the middle of the show for, for whatever reason. Um, yeah, obviously they built Basin it up as well. They built it up loads. Yeah, they, they really did. They really did, and I think it's a shame it wasn't didn't go on last. But there we are. Basil and Kai have obviously got history uh, in the past of um, Basil breaking her arm. Uh, Gonzalez yeah. takes out the ref once uh, once Nia Jax and Gonzalez get out, get to it. Um, the ref is knocked down, um, and rip. Basil puts Kai in the yeah rip indeed. Uh, Basil puts Kai in the clutch. Uh, carry through the coach, and then Adam Pierce comes down, mm. sends the ref down, which I thought was a bit odd. Yeah, I think Adam lead, Pierce is everywhere. Lead, yeah, I think it's leading to something. Um, yeah, it, I do. As well. Mentioned that he was a war referee. Is it a war referee? What's he doing? Yeah. Um, and of course, the guy wasn't a legal competitor at the time, and she was the one who lost the match. So it's like this match is going to happen again at some point for sure. Good, and I yeah. hope it does lead to. I think what what will probably happen is I think we see Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez at uh, fast lane. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'll be okay with that. And I think there's obviously something going on with uh, Alan Pierce and uh, William Regal because they were seen backstage later mm. arguing about something. So mm. that that will this will probably lead to the um, NXT guys being at WrestleMania as well. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. Adam Pierce versus uh, William Regal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know as what? long as, <laughs> match, but... as, long as they both wear wrestling gear and not roll out in not joggers. Suits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, suit on a pole match. <laughs> yeah. Ring gear, ring gear on a pole. The winner gets. Back to the ring. Yeah. We... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've got some bracks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bracks on a pole. There we go. Bracks on a pole match. Um. Cameron Grimes versus uh, Bronson Reed. LA Knight gets involved there. Uh, mm. Reed diving through the ropes to stop Grimes from what I mean, how the guy does it, I do not know. Man, I love him. Know, I think he's great. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, also, so, yeah. I'm a huge, huge mark for his Godzilla entrance as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I'm really a huge cool. mark for that. I've got a lot of time for it. Yeah, it's LA Knight, LA Knight got involved there. So that's probably where LA Knight starts his. NXT career, probably with a feud with with Bronson Reed. That'd be good. Cool. Can't wait for the promos. Love LA Knight. Great Mike guy. Yeah, he cut a really good promo. It was either, I think before that match uh, mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, that was, yeah. Uh, that was good. Um, and then we finished off NXT with uh, Balor defeating Roddy Strong in a non-title match. Good match. Mm -hmm. What you what you'd expect? Of course, from these yeah. Two, I mean, um, yeah. I mean, showing showing off their what they can do, their technical capabilities and all of that. Um, and then afterwards, Adam Cole comes down, stares down Finn Balor, and next week, Adam Cole versus Finn Balor mm. on NXT for the title. Yeah, no, that, that isn't going to be as straightforward as it sounds. There's no way that uh, that match ends properly, I don't think. Uh, I mean, if you're going to have any NXT championship match at WrestleMania, you know... He's <laughs> that, that's that's it, isn't it? Adam yeah. Cole versus yeah. Finn Balor. But I do feel that they're probably going to have to shoehorn Carry and Cross in there at some point, or just move him to the main roster and have him wrestle up there. Because if he's not going to be involved in the title picture, it's really pointless. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But know. Adam Cole versus Finn Balor is such a tasty match. Like that. That's what I want to see at WrestleMania. That's the stage that I want to see that match on. Yeah, same. That'd be huge. Mm. I think we're definitely it's gonna still see the Carl show. Vince yeah. the one that shit. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely gonna see Carlo Wadi versus Adam Cole at some point, maybe take over. Um, I don't know, yeah. Bobby Bridges, you know, medical, medi you know, medically wise. Yeah, because we are getting a takeover, aren't we, on the Thursday of WrestleMania week? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. Fucking Thursday, man. Jesus. Why Thursdays? Yeah, it's such a weird day. Well, it's because you got smacked down on the Friday and then Mania's two nights, isn't it? So, yeah, no Hall of Fame this year. Are they doing anything virtual or they've not said, have they? No, yeah. they've not said. They still haven't really done last year's either. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that's going to be the group that goes in, isn't it? So, yeah, it's got to be. Yeah. Yes, you'd have thought so. Right. Um, moving on to SmackDown. So, 
apparently it had been arranged that uh, Daniel Bryan and Edge were going to face Jimmy and or Jay um, and Roman Reigns in a tag match at Fastlane. Um, yeah. but, uh, instead, um, we had a main event on, on SmackDown of Daniel Bryan versus Jay in a cage match. And if Daniel Bryan wins, he gets to face Roman Reigns for the title at Fastlane. Yeah. So, what's, what's, what what happened? What happened to that tag match? It's just kind of it's now not happening. Daniel Bryan was saying <laughs> that uh, he he didn't agree to it. No one approached him. No one said, "Do you fancy having this match?" So he's like, "That's not what I want. Yeah. I want uh, a chance. I want a chance at the title. I've wrestled yeah. more in the last uh, three weeks than Edge and Reigns have in the last month and last three months." Uh, yes. So he he wants his wants his chance basically. Okay, I, I like the the way that the Daniel Bryan character is going at the minute. It's very intense. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think his mic work is. I mean, his mic work is always good anyway. But I like. I just like the character that he's playing at the minute. I like the the aggression and I like just the intensity. Yeah, I don't. I don't know where this goes because I don't see. Daniel Bryan actually winning the championship. I do think it's going to be Edge versus Roman Reigns in a straight up one on one match. Yeah. yeah um, but yeah, I, I like it at the minute. I just, I just don't know where it's going. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Because usually at this point, the you know, the seeds really are being sown for WrestleMania. You should, you, you know, you can see what is actually coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Reigns versus Edge. There's no way that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah I mean, in. well, that, yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, it's like it's like raw. It's like the, the raw main mania picture is a little bit murky at the minute. I don't know. Yeah. You know, we don't know what the main event of WrestleMania is going to be. We we we've had a guess. Yeah, but I mean, you know, the SmackDown one should be nailed on. Yeah, 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 it should be by now. But they're obviously teasing a bit more out of it. You know, giving us uh, some other matches. Um, so yeah, following that, there was a there was a few matches that weren't really that all that overly memorable. Uh, Corbin beats Montez Ford in a singles match, which is, I mean, I think Montez Ford will be a single star one day. But mm -hmm. yeah, uh, and then straight after that, Sami Zayn loses to Angelo Dawkins. So Corbin saying he doesn't want to be a doesn't want to be a tag partner with Sami Zayn. Good, neither do we. We don't want to see that yep, either. Nope, not at all. No, <laughs> keep them <laughs> apart. Thank you. Cheers. Street Profits still want uh, a rematch with uh, the Dirty Dogs. Um, yeah. So they've, because they've not been on TV for God knows how yeah, long. Yeah, that's the great <laughs> Terrible name. Awful. <laughs> Terrible. Very bad. Very bad. The fact um, that they have to keep shoehorning it into promos as well. A couple of Dirty Dogs. Yeah, it's a shit name. Just, to, just you know, it's a, just, to, just go tell him, tell the old man that you don't think that's a good name. Yeah, then go to AEW or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's usually what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Nemeth Brothers in AEW. Yeah. What are the smelly cats doing in the Impact Zone? So <laughs> 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 uh. oh dear. Did you see that uh, picture I sent the other day? It says the boulder is all elite. It was a picture. Yeah. Of the <laughs> 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 um, and then we had um, good old Don Mysterio versus Gable. Been looking for this for a while, and then it was yeah. uh, barely barely given any given any time to be honest. No. Which is a, yeah. which is I don't a know why we expect any more. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame. It really is. I, I hate this stuff without it. I hate this. Um, this academy crap that they're doing, and I, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. No, no, no. If you want Otis to be in a tag team, he was in a tag team. Why? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it's you, a way you, to turn you, Otis heel in a way. And what a mess of a year, though, that Otis has really had. Yeah, you, know, you had, you know, he was at one point probably the most pushed star on SmackDown. You know, he's in the, you know, the vignettes with Mandy Rose and all that stuff, and you know, he won the Money in the Bank. And then, yeah. you know, the entire time he was money in the bank holder, it was, you know, it was Miz trying to get it away from him. And all that. it's just been, and now he's doing this with Chad Gable. It just seems a mess. Like they don't know what to do with him. If you don't know what to do with him, do nothing. Yeah, keep him off TV. <laughs> yeah, just keep him off for a bit and then bring him back 
at some other point. You know, <laughs> you don't have to force him on TV. There's loads of other people. Alistair yeah. Black is on SmackDown. Yeah, I mean him. Not for much yeah. longer. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not, no. Do you think Tucker ever got any ring gear? Or well, he still made that shit before? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it was awful. Whatever it was, it was awful. <laughs> it's so bad. He is actually sure we'll, uh, what yeah. I said he was before. He's now yeah. transformed into that. Yeah. Took a yeah. shite. Yeah. That should be, <laughs> that should be his new, uh, new name. What, took a shite? <laughs> took a shite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah can you imagine Corey yeah, Graves? Yeah, woke up this morning, yeah. took a shite. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me! Um, yeah, so it's it's a it's a shame really because I'd like to see Dominic versus uh, Chad Gable. You know, really given time. We spoke about it before, but yeah, I, mean, yeah. I thought when I thought when they stopped calling him Shorty G that we were actually going to see a bit of progression with Chad Gable. You know, went back to his old ring gear. Um, yeah. You know, took his actual name back, but no. Alpha Academy, great. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. It's not, it's good good. Good. There's like an actual faction, more than just him and Otis. But mm. yeah, that's just, that's just dance. It's just like whatever. We're, at this point, it just feels forced and pointless, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Absolutely. Speaking of uh, forced and pointless, mm. <laughs> next up we had uh, Bianca Belair versus Shayna Baszler because we need more Shayna Baszler <laughs> on our TV. <laughs> <sighs> this this was just a little bit chaotic. You had Nia Jax was obviously ringside, so was Sasha Banks, um, and so was Reginald. And uh, where's Carmella? It was just it, well, Carmella. Saw um, she, she saw her backstage, and she has fired poor Reginald. Um, he's gone. Yeah, no, to be no more. Uh, we'll see. Of course, he'll still be around. I, I, yeah, this just felt a little bit of a mess. Uh, Bianca won. Uh, Nia Jax. Nia Jax ran into Sasha Banks, so uh, knocked her over, you know, because we're getting that Nia Jax singles run. I'm telling you. It's happening. It's happening. She's going to beat them. She's going to win. But we said it last week, didn't we? She's going to win them both. Raw, smack now. The thing is, I don't really understand why they're trying to force feed us Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair as a as a tag team. Then they're, they're not going to win it, are they? No, no. So, so apparently that is also that's going to be a match. At, at yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's booked, isn't it? That's official. I think that at yeah. fast lane. That's what it's. Um, that's what it's going to. It's that's what it's going to be. It's going to be Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks against Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler for the titles. Yeah, but yeah, not when, win. When, when you've got when you've got. Genuine tag team in uh, the Riot Squad. You've got Lana and Naomi that are supposed to have a title shot, and yet they're trying Dakota to Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah. Why, why not that? Why not a rematch of that? So it's a but bit of a strange like, one still. The thing is, Bianca Belair's already picked Sasha Banks, so the storyline writes itself now. Yeah, mm. yeah. Weird. Just have a, a you know like a bloody one-upsmanship contest type thing until WrestleMania. They're both arrogant. They're both you know. You know, confident in their own abilities, you could you could easily build a storyline around that. They don't need to be, you know, fighting for the tag team titles. It just seems ultimately pointless to me. No, I agree. Yeah, because they're not going to win, are they? Because a few of course they're not. And if they do, they're only going to lose them again. Yeah, yeah, they'll lo lose them the next night or something. So, yeah, a bit of a weird one that. Um, Buddy Murphy is back. He had a match against Cesaro. Uh, Seth Rollins was ringside wearing a honking suit. Yeah. Um, it's getting worse every week. Yeah, but his, his, his gear <laughs> needs, leaves a lot to be desired at the minute, does Rollins? Yeah, yeah, it's not great. I mean, he's snapped back from that pregnancy, but all that all that baby weight's gone. It looks fantastic, but <laughs> yeah, it looks great. Yeah, are, fair play to him. Yeah, he's been in the, the gym since his birth. Yeah, suits are yeah, awful. Yeah. yeah, Becky needs to have a word. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh, burn uh, it down! Then, burn his fucking suits. Yeah, but. <laughs> Burn my clothes. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, Apollo Cruz comes out and cuts a promo. Now, uh -huh. I said last week he's going with this heritage thing. He's got this Nigerian ancestry that he's he's going to now, you know, channel that. But he now has a Nigerian accent. <laughs> mm. 
Weird one. Uh, and I'm not... Uh, I don't get it. Right. <laughs> During... Like, do, do we really think that this is appropriate? Well, well this is what crossed, yeah. this is what crossed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, talk I, mean, about, I, I don't want to get all political and PC because some of the things that you you can and can't say or do anymore, it's a little bit kind of a bit over the top. But doesn't this fall under cultural appropriation? Isn't that what they call it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it probably does, to be honest. Yeah, because, you know, last week he didn't have a Nigerian accent. No. Now no. he has a Nigerian accent. Yeah. So I mean, genuinely love of Nigerian descent. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you, don't, you don't just get the accent back after a week of wearing a Nigerian scarf, well, do you? No, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, like you say, it, it has. He's probably. I, I've not really looked into it. He probably genuinely does have Nigerian ancestry, and who knows when he is around his family if they are you know, born in Nigeria, he may speak like that to them. Do you know what I mean? With with the accent put on. Because I, I know of, this is a bit of a weird one, but I, I know of someone who uh, her parents are Scottish. She's English, but when she talks to her mum and dad, it's, yeah, I ain't mum and dad. It's all Scott. You know, she speaks Scottish. Yeah. And then when she's at work, she's talking English. So maybe he does that outside of WWE, but why bring that into the ring? It's It's a strange one for me. Especially as you say, last week he didn't have the accent. This week he has. Yeah, weird one. Sure. Uh, yeah, I mean he might have roots, but I mean you know Sacramento, California, he was born. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean his name—I can't pronounce his name. His surname's Yuha. No, but I'm just well, looking yeah. at it here now. Um, I'm just looking. Sorry, guys. Um, That's all right. For me, you know, I mean, he was born in he was born in California. You know, um, yeah. obviously, you know, there's always you know his parents can all you know are probably yeah, are not. There, there probably is some sort of Nigerian descent there. You know, without yeah. me sort of scrolling through his life history and having a look and all that sort of stuff. But you know, does Kofi Kingston go home and speak to his parents in a Jamaican accent? Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, no he doesn't. Do. He doesn't. I don't <laughs> think he's Jamaican, is he, for a start? He's from Ghana. Well, yeah, he is from uh, Ghana, actually, yeah. <laughs> he is. Um, I don't know. I just think it's a... I don't think it's... I don't know. I just think I it's a think crappy it's, move. I don't think it's needed. No, of course it isn't. No. It's, you, it's definitely you, you not can, needed. No way. You could be the same character without that. It's like, it's no point. You can pay homage to your ancestry without putting on the accent. I think that's where yeah. we're sort of going, aren't we? You know, it, you get, it is. I mean, it's almost something you could see coming, isn't it? Like you could almost see this coming. It is classic. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is classic. It is. Classic. I mean, how, I mean Apollo, you're Apollo Crews, right? You, you know, you're going to get this great chance. You're going to, you know, you're going to, you know, you've turned heel. You're going to play. You're going to play a new character on TV. It looks like you're going to push towards, you know, the IC title. And then Vince comes to you and says, "Yeah." um, I want you to to put on a Nigerian accent. Like, how do you feel as, as a person about that? Yeah, you have to say yes, no problem, Vince, because you don't want to get fired. Yeah, that's the. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, it's it's dicey ground for me, but um, I think it, I think it is. I think it is nowadays. I think it's really dicey ground, but. Yes. That's not stopped WWE before, has it? I mean, it wasn't that long of ago. Of course, it they hasn't. Were, but they they were playing can't... on they were playing on Jeff Hardy's uh, drink problem. They've done that in the past. Um, Jake Roberts has come out in the last week, hasn't he, and said you know, Vince is an arsehole because uh, you know they got Jerry Lawler to pour whiskey over him, and Jake Roberts has got a, a well known drink problem, recovering alcoholic. But he's like, yeah, you know. So so it's it's like. WWE have no shame in this sort of scenario. But you, you know, can't you can't go promoting all the things that you do, you know, you know, standing by, you know, the you know, different movements and everything like that, and then go and pull stuff like this. Mm. To me, I just don't I don't think that's I mean in twenty twenty one you just you just can't do it. It doesn't fly, does no. it really? No, he doesn't fly, no. Very weird move. 
Very, very, very strange move. And one, you know, I was excited for this for Apollo, but you know, I, I have soured on it a little bit now because I just think it's so desperately unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. That, that dastardly foreign heel. Yeah, th- those days are gone. Yeah, yeah exactly. Gone. They, they yeah. died fucking hell years ago. Yeah. And you know, it's not something that should be happening now, in my opinion. But you know, you know, they might receive backlash for for this, and the accent will be you know dead and gone next week, and he'll be back to having his regular accent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Because I am excited to see it because I think he's he's done he's been great. He's been a great heel. We've talked about this uh, at great length. But yeah, he's he's um it's a shame really. But here we go. We'll move on. Uh, mm. And then finally, Daniel Bryan uh, faces Jimmy and or Jay. It was Jay, of course, <laughs> uh, in a cage match. There's something about a cage match on SmackDown. I think it just always looks really cool. I don't know what I don't know what it is. I, I yeah, I agree. It. Yeah, I think it suits it. The blue suits the cage matches. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's whether a weird it's thing to say, cage... but it's just like a pleasing whether... aesthetic, isn't it? Yeah. yeah whether it, whether it's because like the cage used to be blue and now it's not, so then but then you've got the blue ropes. I don't know. I'm looking too much into it, but I quite remember like the red hell in a cell. Good times. Yeah. Remember the red light <laughs> thing. Anyway. Yeah. Um, remember yeah. when Apollo um, was American? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Remember when Raw was good? Anyway. Beer all night. Um, yeah, I actually can't. <laughs> no, it's been a while. Um, Good match, great match. What everything you would expect from these two um, seasoned pros. Uh, mm-hmm. And Daniel Bryan wins, and he faces Roman Reigns at Fastlane. Be a good match. Looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, it should be a great match. To be fair, yeah. um, I, th- I think Jay Uso has been incredible this last year. Yeah, he's yeah, he's been great. Hell of, hell, hell of, last twelve months, he's been superb. Hell of a year. Tag team wrestlers, when their partner you know goes away injured, usually means that the other one is off TV, and that's yeah. exactly what I expected of Jimmy and or Jay. But you and know, for what? remember when he hosted that bloody karaoke contest? Oh yeah, good times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now you know, as part of this little, you know, we had that great feud with Roman, and you know he's been a, he's played a great character since. Um, it looks like uh, Jimmy and or Jay is going to be returning soon as well. Jay and or Jimmy, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy and um, or Jimmy. Yeah, Jay and or Jimmy. Yeah, he's going to be returning soon, yeah. based on an interview that Jay did. He said the Uso Penitentiary was going to be back open very soon, so um, Maybe that'll be cool. Win at Fast Lane. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's when we start to see the uh, the Samoan thing come into it as well. Mm-hmm. There was talk of you know new ring gear, new music, and all of that. New that, accents, that, yeah, good. Yeah, oh, oh god, no, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> please don't. Don't drink it. So yeah, maybe Again, when uh, maybe when Jimmy comes back, that will happen. Their yeah. entrance music is going to be "You're Welcome" from Moana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Reagan Ray singing it instead of the rock though. Yeah, yeah, they're all going to come down with like ukuleles and wearing like leaf clothes. I see what's happening. Here. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Love it. Yeah. So yeah, good stuff. Um, it's shaping up to be uh, a decent pay per view, actually. What oh, fast lane? Yeah, fast lane. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. so Central. speaking of pay-per-views, um, AEW have one coming up this coming Sunday. Let's we'll have a quick uh, blast through Dynamite before we talk about our predictions for that. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'll i hand over to you on that one, Sonny, because unfortunately I, I didn't get a chance to watch it. Yeah, uh, no, that's absolutely fine. I have watched it. I watched it today. Cool. I've, been up I've seen bits and pieces. I've obviously seen the uh, you know the, the main things that have come from it, the, the viral stuff. That's happened. Oh, yeah. That's what it makes me. Yeah. On Twitter, who? who? No, oh yeah, some uh, Paul, some Paul guy, Mister White. What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Paul White. Oh, White. White. Yeah. So um, the 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 show opened with the the heavily advertised tag team match of Shaquille O'Neal and Jade Cargill against Red Velvet and Cody Rhodes. Um, it was good. 
You know what? It was a celebrity appearance done right. Yeah. Mm. I mean, Shaq is a fucking huge guy. <laughs> like, it's huge. Yeah. You know, I, I'm sure all of him is huge as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a good match. I, you know, I thought, you know, it was Jay Cargill's first match on Dynamite, and I thought she looked okay. You know, she really looks the part in terms of, you know, her actual look. You know, she's jacked. She's, you know, she's, she's got a fairly, she's got a pretty face as well, you know. She really looks the part. She's like AEW's Bianca Belair. Sure. Yes. For you know, for if we have to, if we have to compare, um, yeah, and I thought she did okay. You know, for someone who's relatively new, I thought she did well. Shaq played his part really well as well. Um, you know, took a ridiculous bump through a table for through two yeah, tables. You know, yeah. it was Cody Rhodes. You know, hit him with a cross body, but Shaq was good. You know, played played his role really well. Awesome. But that, um, uh, I think that clip that clip made it onto Sky Sports News. <laughs> Oh, well, wow. Shaq being put through to the tables, pointing through the tables. Obviously, he, he's he's huge, isn't he, in the world of in the in more ways than one. He's huge in the world of basketball, so obviously that's where Sky Sports and obviously they they're not WWE heavy these days, are they? So they can show other other companies. Well, no, so that's that was, it. Yeah, uh, that, that was uh, yeah. So I found that quite interesting that it was uh, it had made it all the way to to Sky Sports News, which is obviously very. I mean, the thing with it is, obviously, Shaq heavy. has been promoting AEW, you know, on his on the basketball show he does for TNT. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, and basketball's on pretty much every day. Mm. So yeah. he played his, he played his part really well. Shaq did. I think the whole point of this was really to establish, uh, Jade Cargill coming to, you know, to AW and probably being, uh, quite a dominant factor in the women's division going forward. But, you know, I had no problem with it. I thought it was a celebrity appearance done right. And, you know, it didn't, take over the whole show i know there was another sex segment you know that shack was pointing to the ambulance and then he wasn't there um right. so that you know there's probably going to be some sort of follow-up but um i enjoyed it i thought it was i thought it was highly entertaining especially for a celebrity segment which usually i really couldn't care less for but shack really um promoted it well and you know played his part really well and you can tell that he respects the business you know he, he's not the first wrestling appearance he's made um and I don't think it'll be the last either. I don't think it'll be the last at all. No. But um, it goes back, I suppose, to the, like we said about Bad Bunny. You know, yeah. if they respect the business, if they're fans of it, if they're putting the effort in, then, then fine. It, it's good. Every, it's okay every now and then to have yeah. these celebrities involved. Of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, wrestling has always had celebrities throughout the years. I mean, WrestleMania 1 was littered with celebrities. Yeah, Muhammad Ali, Mr. T, you know, Cindy Lauper. The, you know, it's not, Something that's you know been it's not new, is it? No, it's not new at all. Wrestling is, I think, it's always going to have celebrities, and it brings a wider audience to your product. You know, so it's a smart move. You know, from wrestling companies to bring celebrities in. I mean, look at, I mean, Jesus, look how many Bad Bunny T-shirts WWE have, you know, shipped out. Yeah, Jesus. Mad. <laughs> that is a lot of money that WWE are making just by having Bad Bunny appear on their shows because obviously yeah. he's a global superstar in you know in music. Yeah. yeah, his music is not to my taste, but you know, there's no doubting that he has millions of fans worldwide, and that's why WWE have brought him in. Yeah, exactly. So makes it sense. makes sense from a business standpoint to to have celebrities, and when you've got someone as big as, as Shaq, you know, no pun intended, you know, it, it's, it's a no brainer to, and it, if he wants to be involved, to to get him involved. Mm. Shaq and Cargill win, um, you know, despite Shaq being plowed through the tables by Cody Rhodes. Good stuff. Cool. Uh, then we had Pac and uh, Ray Phoenix, two of the very best wrestlers in the world. I said it when I was watching it, uh, 2K, and, you know, they they took on John Schuyler and uh, D3. Nice. Um, it was basically a squash, to be honest. This was to establish Phoenix and Pac, I would imagine, as uh, a tag team going forward, and I think they'll probably end up fighting for the tag team titles at some point. No problem with it, because uh, I think Pent is out injured, isn't he? So... Oh, is he? Have I made he that is. up? He is, no, yeah. He okay. Is. Yeah. He is. Um, so, yeah. So, Phoenix and Pat, they're going to be a tag team going forward. Obviously, they were in the death triangle anyway um, together. But, if you know, if you're going to push them as a tag team for the meantime, great. Go for it. Um, yeah. So, then we had a, a segment, which was a press conference 
for the inner circle, Jericho and MJF, you had different speakers sort of coming up and uh, asking them questions about their upcoming match against the uh, the Books of Youth at Revolution for the AEW Tag Team titles. And it was cool. You know, you had Conrad there. It was good. You had guys from uh, Barstool Sports and Eric Bischoff turned up as well. Uh, this ended up, you know, as it always does in a massive brawl, but the Unbox came down bef- um, before that ensued and, you know, talked up their dad and how much of a great person he is. And, you know, they said that without their dad, there probably wouldn't be an AEW. And without an AEW, Jericho would be jerking the curtain at the Performance Centre. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so they took a little bit of a blow there. But um, that was a cool segment. And it ended up, like I said, in a mass brawl. Uh, Gallows and Anderson came down and they helped put uh, Santana and Ortiz through uh, tables. Nice. Which was nice. cool. Yeah. Um, you know, that that's going to be a great match on Sunday. You know, that's absolute money. Jericho and MJF versus the Young Bucks. That's going to yeah. be really good. Yeah. Uh, next up, we had um, FTR and Tully Blanchard, who makes his return to the ring in, after a long, 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 long time away from the ring. They took wow. on the team of Jurassic Express. Awesome. Uh, they came down with uh, the tracksuits on, uh, the old NWA tag team titles and the NWA uh, United States Championship as well that Tully Blanchard uh, once held. Uh, it was cool. JJ Dillon was with them as well, uh, which was which was a, a nice a nice moment, especially with Tully sort of getting back into the ring. Okay, match. You know, Tully's kept himself in in decent shape over the years. To be fair to him, and you know, did well for for his age. You know, um, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the match in general. I, I think Jungle Boy is uh, or can be a main event quality superstar it's very you know, good it's got the look um size doesn't matter these days in wrestling i don't think despite yeah. you know wwe still being considered the land of the giants and all that sort of stuff but yeah i thought it was um yeah i thought it, i thought it was cool it was a cool little it was a spectacle you know it was just a, a match to to finish off uh, a rivalry and uh, they ended it in a, a cool nostalgic way cool. Uh, also you know jj dylan helped FTR and uh, Tully Blanchard pick up the win, as did uh, a mysterious masked man that turned out to be Sean Spears. Oh. So Sean Spears is back after a little while. Cool. Yeah. Uh, then we had the the finals of the AEW Women's Championship Eliminator. Uh, Lila Rose, former AEW Women's Champion, of course, taking on Rio Mizunami. Cool. And yeah, again, really good match. This whole tournament's been pretty good, to be honest. Um, yeah. I, I was very critical of the AEW Women's Division when it when AEW first started, but um, it's gone from strength to strength, and it's really good now. Uh, to my surprise, uh, Rio actually uh, Rio uh, Mizunami actually won, beat Nyla Rose, and she's going to be the one to take on uh, Hikaru Shida for the Women's Championship at Revolution. Now, I'm a big Hikaru Shida fan. Um, did a little bit of a bit of a straightener after the match when she um, she'd have presented her with the trophy, but yeah, um, it's been good. You know, it's cool to a, a tournaments when you've got nothing, you know, when you don't really have any real booking ideas to book a championship match. A tournament is a great way to sort of give everyone something to do in the meantime. Yeah, but the tournament's okay. been really good. It's really showcased the women's division, and it's brought you know it's brought a lot of eyes to new talent as well. So yeah. Really good stuff, and I'm looking forward to uh, Shida versus uh, Mizunami at Revolution. And to be honest, that could be a bit of a show stealer. I think that'll be really good. Yeah, really good. For sure. Um, then we had uh, Preston Vance versus uh, Platinum Max Caster. It was fine. Yeah, it was okay. Not really. Um, not really much of anything, sort of, to to write home about. But it was good. I do like Platinum Max Caster. I think he's very good on the mic. Um, he's very sort of, he, you know, he's really playing this gimmick that John Cena did when he first started by being oh, yeah. the doctor of thugonomics. He's, you know, saying the shock rap lines and all that kind of thing. And I think it's really, you know, I like it. I think it's cool. But I was always a fan of that anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, cool. It was fine. Yeah. Nothing really, like I said, to write home about. Then we had uh, John Silver and Adam Page taking on uh, Matt Hardy and Mark Quinn of Private Party. Fine. That's- Again, good stuff. Not bad at all. It was, yeah, it was it was absolutely fine. In fact, am I, am I even looking at the right dynamite here? I am. I think, I'm sure I am. 
Yeah. You think it was the wrong week? <laughs> I don't think it is the wrong week. No, it's the right week. You, yeah. Yeah, I thought it, it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Whew. I thought I'd done a you there, mate. Yeah. yeah that's it. Yes, that's it. Yeah. yeah so, um, yeah, John Silver and Adam Page uh, against Matt Hardy and Mark Quinn, a private party. Um, yeah. Again, absolutely fine. It was just a. This just forwards, you know, the feud between Adam Page and and Matt Hardy, but um, yeah, it was good, energetic, nothing really to write home about, but it was it was fine. Uh, weird main event to have. Yeah, yeah, but it was okay. Tag match, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they 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 mentioned the title match on Sunday between, um, you know, Moxley and Omega by showing a video package, you know, hyping up the barbed wire. Um, the barbed wire death match, which I'm sure is going to be great. They did have a, a brief segment as well with Tony Schiavone interviewing Sting, which turned into a bit of a brawl, including Darby Allen um, and Team Taz. But yeah, I, you know, it was an it was a, it was an up and down uh, dynamite again. But you know, the positives outweigh the negatives for sure. But yeah, yeah. it was it was a good show. Um, strange for a go home show to for the for the main bit not to feature Moxley and Omega. Yeah, that's great. But yeah, it, it was it was fine. Hmm. Cool. Oh, so, uh, who was Paul White talking about then in his uh, in his promo? I like his t shirt. No more BS. Yeah. yeah but... Yes, that was good. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say this to the end because it's because um, it is a big talking point going into the pay per view on Sunday. Um, honestly, I don't know. I think the heavy rumors are Christian, which I've seen. Which makes sense. He's back in, you know, in the ring. In, that's um, the way Rumble. Mm-hmm. Does that kind of make sense that he's ready to go? Yeah, uh, uh, I imagine if he if it was going to be Christian, he'd come down as Christian Cage. Yeah, that makes sense. That'd be cool. We haven't yeah. seen him under, we, um... You know, he came back, so he's probably not there anymore. Who so, knows? big mm. big show called he called the show itself big show. Sorry, Paul White. Uh, called it said uh, this Sunday at Evolution. Now is that a Freudian <laughs> slip? And are we going to see Batista, or no. did he just get his? Or did he just get his lines wrong? <laughs> I think he just got his lines wrong. Yeah, yeah. I think so as well. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I think yeah. Batista's yeah. part of that Hall of Fame class, isn't he? No, 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 no Hall of Fame. I don't know. Maybe was the audience last year or the year before? Can't no, I think he was. He was meant to go in last year, but obviously. Didn't. Because of what happened, yeah. I'm, I'm sure he's part of this Hall of Fame class. I'm sure he is. Yeah, you're probably right. Because the year before he fought Triple H, didn't he? It was the "Give me what I want" stuff. Oh yeah, give me what I want. Give me what I want. <laughs> and I think he was due to go in the Hall of Fame last year, but obviously the Hall of Fame didn't happen. So I think that that class is still due to be the ones inducted, and Batista's part of that. So I'd be very surprised um, if he turned up at AEW. Yeah, yeah, especially as a because because it's signed. Signed to a contract as well. They were the words, as weren't they? That, that Paul White used. Yeah. So he's not just going to be there and be like uh, interrupted a match. He's actually yeah. He's going to be signing support, a multi-year contract. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I, I think Christian's a great shot. Well, if it's Christian, and that would make sense because otherwise, surely you would pull the trigger and have Edge and Christian versus Jimmy and or Jay and Roman Reigns. Yeah. Yeah. That bit. Yeah. I think that's what everyone wants to see when he came back, but it's been. Yeah, not seen since. So, yeah. Um, it's not going to be Brock Lesnar. It's not going to be CM Punk. You know, uh, it's not going to be those guys. Because let's be fair, if Tony Khan called Brock Lesnar with an offer, he'd be straight on the blow to Vince, and Vince would uh, basically offer him every single penny that he has for him to not go there. Yeah, exactly. Brock isn't stupid. He knows how to play the game and clearly knows how to play Vince McMahon as well. So, yeah. Um, Yep, not going to be Brock. Um, you know, people will be like, oh, it's definitely Kurt Angle. It's like you said, Hall of Fame worthy. The, the key word there is worthy, not Hall of Famer. Good point. Yeah. So people were, unless people again, were saying... That was a, uh, you know, unless, again, he, he got his words mixed up. He was very specific. And AEW, you know, since have said a Hall of Fame worthy person. Yeah. Um, it's not going to be Kurt Angle, I don't think. Because he's already in the Hall of Fame, and um, 
Yeah, I, I just can't see it. No. I just can't see it. Um, Christian is a good shout, definitely. I think so. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of like any big names that aren't, you know, haven't been in WWE recently. I can't really think of anyone else. It's Hall of Fame worthy. Yeah. No. That you could genuinely see going to AEW. But I mean, oh, no multi year contract. Who's going to be wrestling yeah. regular? Because it isn't going to be I mean, Brock no, if that's the case. No, no, yeah. no. No no one saw obviously the Paul White thing coming, but I, I doubt it's going to be, you know, I was going to say Mark Henry, but he's in the Hall of Fame, isn't he? Um, yeah. Uh, is he? I think, I think so, yeah. Yeah, because didn't he wear the pink suit? At the Hall of Fame? Yes, you did, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still one of my favourite turns ever, by the way. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's so awesome. Unbelievable. I Reeled it... everyone in, including me. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So good. So we'll, um, we'll see I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I think Christian. I think Christian. Yeah, I think so. It's logical. Christian is a huge sign. That's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Here's another one. The, the Rumble, he came back. In the greatest shape of his uh, of his life, so he's obviously yeah. ready to go. Good. Christian Cage yeah. is all elite. Is what we're probably going to see on Sunday. Yeah. Cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah me too. Excellent. Absolutely fine with it. Um, right. Yeah, so let's do. Um, do you want me to fly through the, through the card? Yeah, let's fly through yeah, the card. Good. Just do some uh, quick predictions. Okay. So I'm going with Wikipedia. So first up, the the Young Bucks versus the Inner Circle, which is Chris Jericho and MJF in a tag team match for the title. Sonny, who have you got? Young Bucks. Mm. Finn Steele. I will go with MJF and Chris Jericho. Mm. I am going to go for the Young Bucks. Mm. Yeah, I don't see them losing it. Should be a great match. Yeah, um, definitely. Team Taz, Brian Cage and Ricky Styles with Taz versus Darby Allen and Sting in a street fight. Mm. This be... is a tough one. This is a tough one to call, I think. Yeah. I think it's got to be Darby and Sting. I can't have Sting lose his first match back, surely. WWE did. Good point. Mm. Good point. <laughs> that, that, was, that, was, that was to prove a point there, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. Personally, I would like to see Sting and Darby Allen win, but I'm going to go with Team Taz here because I think oh. everyone is expecting Sting and Darby Allen to win. So I'm going to go with Team Taz. I think I really like Ricky Starks. I think he's an absolute superstar. The comparisons yeah. to The Rock in his like younger days is um, a great comparison. Really good yeah. on the mic. Looks great. I mean, Sting beat him out of his you know leather leather loafers on Dynamite. But yeah, um, oh, yeah I'm going to go with Team Taz. Cool. Cool, good stuff. Uh, so for the women's world championship, Shida versus Mizunami. Who have you got? Uh, Shida. Yeah, Mizunami. I don't think wins it. She's won the she's won the tournament. That's great, but I don't think she beats Shida for the title. I agree. I don't want her to either. I really love Hikaru Shida. I think she's great. Mm. Yeah, I'll say the same thing. Yeah, Shida. Shida. Here we go. Okay, so. Adam Page versus Matt Hardy, and the winner receives the loser's first quarter earnings. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, I think Adam Page wins. Yeah, I'm going to go yeah, Adam I Page. Think, yeah, I think I think so as well. Cool, I'll be different. I'll say Matt Hardy. Okay, Finn Steele being different. Yeah, here we go. So the face of Revolution. A ladder match for a future AEW TNT Championship match. Cody Rhodes versus Scorpio Sky versus, well, it says Penta here, so maybe he isn't injured. Don't know. Um, mm. Versus uh, Lance Archer versus Max Caster versus To Be Announced. I think To Be Announced mm. might win. No, I'm joking. Uh, I think the To Be Announced is going to be Ethan Page. Okay. Um, cool. He was in uh, Impact Wrestling Tag Team, The North, and they were Tag Team Championship for quite a while. Oh, well, um, yeah. He is incredibly talented, ridiculously talented. And I have read the rumors that he has signed with AEW. Cool. Um, so um, 
to be honest, I, I, I could see Ethan Page winning it if if, uh, if he's in it, which I think he will be. So I'm going to go with to be announced to win. Okay. Finn Steele. Here we go. Um, <laughs> I don't really know a whole lot about <laughs> this guy. I've been watching AW for a few weeks. Um, I'll say Cody Rhodes because shrug, he wins a lot, I guess. <laughs> um, if oh, future TNT championship match, I'm gonna go Lance Archer. Okay, mm. should be good. Yeah, should be really good. Should be. Um, Kenny Omega versus John Moxley in an exploding barbed wire death match. For the AEW World Championship. Uh, I'm going to go John Moxley because... Uh, sorry, no. I'm going to go Kenny Omega because, you know, if you're going to blow someone up, it gives them a good chance to to go off for a little bit, especially as his wife is currently expecting. Of course. Makes sense. Yep. Uh, and yeah. I don't think Kenny loses it just yet anyway. No way. No, no not long enough. Uh, yeah, I'll say the same thing. I'll say Kenny Omega. Yeah, I am also going to go for Omega. Uh, what you said there, Sonny, makes absolute sense. So good yeah. stuff. Uh, we have a tag team match, which is Miro and Kit Sabian versus best friends Orange Cassidy and Chuck Taylor. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, I would, I would say, best friends. Yeah, I'm going to go best friends. Yeah. Same here. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll go Miro and Kip Sabian then. Miro and Sabian. Like Miro. Uh, and then, oh God, am I going to have to read all of this out? Mm. There's a cas casino tag team royale for a future AW World Tag Team Championship. Cool. So we have, uh, it says here, uh, Bear Country versus the yep. Dark Order versus the Dark Order. Versus the Inner Circle, versus Butcher and the Blade, versus Private Party, versus Top Flight, versus Death Triangle, which is Pac and Ray Phoenix, versus Varsity Blondes, versus the Seidel Brothers, versus SoCal Uncensored, versus the Natural Nightmares, versus Chaos Project. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jurassic okay. Express are in there as well. Uh, the Gun Club. Dark Order in there again. So, yeah, yeah. who have you got? Uh, Death Triangle. Death Triangle, Pack and Ray Phoenix. Yeah. God, there's a lot in there. <laughs> That's going to take an hour. This is going to be a long pay per view, isn't it? Is that, <laughs> I mean, surely that's going to be. Is that not on the buy in? On the pre show? I would have, I would have thought so, yeah. 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 Thought, so. okay. yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know what? As it's for a future tag team championship, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for that as well. Death Triangle. Well, it just cool. seems to make sense because they were they were really focused on. I know there was a big brawl at the end of Dynamite, you know, with people involved in the casino ladder match and all that sort of stuff. But the fact that Death Triangle were actually in a match and squashed their opponents. Um, it seems that they really focused on them, so that's why I've gone for them. Cool. I'm going to go with Santana and Ortiz because if Chris Jericho and MJF win, now they'll be in the circle, but it's in the circle, and that could be a whole thing. I love you thinking. Yeah. I love you thinking. I like yeah. 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 I did look at I, I looked at that. I thought, mm, yeah, we'll see. That could, uh, that could split them up. That'd be cool. Uh, and then finally, Rio and... Thunder Rosa versus Britt Baker and Rebel Detective. That's on the buy in. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to go Britt Baker and, and uh, Reba. Same. <laughs> uh, sure. Same. You need to watch AEW, Finn. I, I do. I do. I know, I know like, the big show stuff. I know, like, um, Who? you know, it's Opal stuff. <laughs> I, just need, I just need to catch up with the rest of it. <laughs> Yeah, you do. It's a lot yeah, of wrestling time. to watch, isn't it? It's a lot of wrestling. <laughs> um, quick one before we before we finish. Um, I watched um, NXT UK this week. Main event was really good. Kaylee Ray defended the NXT UK Women's Championship mm. against Mako Satomura. Um, really good match. Um, definitely go watch that if you get chance because it, it was very good. 
Uh, also, Dragonov and Sam Grabwell have had a really good match also. Oh, yeah. Cool. cool. Um, right, one more thing. We are starting a brand new series called Games and Graps Rewind, where we are going to take a look back at the year 1998 and the WWE slash WF pay-per-views from that year. Yeah. Uh, the first episode is going to be for Royal Rumble 98. And Finn, this is going to be a cool one for you because um, I think you've probably not seen a lot of those shows on there. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's around the time I watch, started watching wrestling, but it's I never saw the pay-per-views because, you know, they're expensive. <laughs> I don't want to buy them. It's just completely understandable. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see for sure. Definitely. So uh, we're looking forward to bringing you that. It's just something, you know, just to keep us entertained during these uh, keep us and you entertained during these uh, still lockdown times mm. so that series should pretty much take us to the end of lockdown to be fair so yeah. yeah we should be good look out for that on all podcast services and our youtube channel as well but for now this has been episode 134 of the games and graps podcast we are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single saturday and or sunday across podcast services everywhere 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 and youtube.com forward slash games graps and the games and graps facebook page as well um my name's sunny g i've been with finn steel thank you much and steve next one and we'll see you for games and graps rewind and episode 135 next week take it easy guys goodbye thank you so much goodbye goodbye the absolute tons